All right, there. Hey there, welcome to my channel. Uh, you might have seen that I recently, yesterday, reviewed this Delta 1300. This is a 1.3 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, it's pretty good. Watch that review, go watch that video, hopefully here in the, the little bubble up here. Um, the one thing that is not great about this, uh, or the missing feature that it has, is the ability to add extra battery to add a battery extender or uh yeah just to add an auxiliary battery right so it's got after our testing we showed that you can only remove about one kilowatt hour and that's good if that's all you need then this unit is going to be amazing it's going to do great but if you just happen to need more than one kilowatt hour then there's no ability to add more in here and so then this unit might not work so today i'm going to show you how to add more battery do a hack a diy hack uh, and build a battery it's going to look like this right and this is going to be an extra one kilowatt hour you put it in here you have a little connector you connect it in there bam and then you'll have two kilowatt hours right or three you can daisy chain many more of these right but i'm going to show you how to build this right now today so let's get into it All right, so here is what you are going to need. You're gonna need this camel box. This is $20, you can find it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And then you're gonna need all of these boards here. Look at that. Okay, let's take them out. I pre-assembled all of these, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I did here. There we go. Let's put this box out of the way for now. Right? So there we go. There are I could hear. I could hear. Five, five and five of these boards. They're assembled, you know, on top of each other. Uh, and then they're, they have uh, plastic legs on the bottom, the little shorty ones, and then these long ones on the top, all right? So that's what you need. And then this is the center one, which is two of the uh, battery boards and then two different BMS stack back to back right here. And the reason you need that is because, well, uh, this is gonna be a 48 volt battery. This is a 48 volt battery, so you need to have, uh, these boards are 24, so you'll have to have, uh, you know, a group of, uh, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven boards uh, on one side, seven boards on the other side, and then have them connected in series so that you can make two of these groups that are 24 volts into 48 volts. So that's what we're going to do here. Let's start with this because this is the, the one that's more technical, and so then, uh, yeah. We'll have to uh, adjust it a tiny bit. So there we go. Let's take this boards apart. Alrighty. Hopefully our batteries and our cameras are gonna last. I only have the one batteries. have to be plastic because obviously these are electrified right so you can't have positive and negative both it would just be a giant short so that's what you do have them be made out of plastic You don't need to take it off.
Okay, so here we go. These are just the regular BMS that you have. Uh, there are a bunch of videos showing you how to put these together from the kit form. Uh, and even these ones right here, these are going to be linked on the description of this video. But let's just starting now with all these boards assembled, ready to go. This is how you would assemble these. Now we're going to have to modify this, right? So we're going to have to remove one of these. Um, yeah, we're going to have to remove one of these guys. But only the one leg. I, I guess, yeah, let's do that. Here we go. I have my um, thing here. It's gonna, you're going to need it to get hot. Right? So then, 200 degrees. You see this? 200 degrees. Uh, you want it like the max, which is 400 degrees. These are beefy, chunky cables in here, so it's quite a bit of work to, to get them out. You have to get this really hot. Sometimes it helps to add a bit of more solder in there. And then you start heating up the thing. Come on, come on, come on. All right, guys, this is uh, Jehu's subconscious. While I'm building this battery, I could also be talking to you guys and answering some questions. Uh, let me know if it sounds good. So what I like to do here is to clean up the solder. And what I do is I usually just do this. And there we go. You see all that solder ends up there on the table. And then, um, and then you're good. You don't have to fight that solder. There we go. So we disconnected the negative here on this other one. We're going to disconnect the positive. Okay, positive. Oh, actually, yeah. By the way, Jay who doesn't know what he's doing, he just likes to sound like he knows what he's doing. But yeah, you guys should pay attention to him. So if He's just need, then confused as hell right now. No, he's trying gonna to figure out how to connect these two boards. Okay, so this one also the negative, okay? You'll see why right now. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Heat it up a little bit more here. All right, so here what I'm doing, guys, is uh, okay. because these are sold as kids, or they're going to sell this kids and I had uh, pre-assembled them in a certain way. So then I'm having to change them. But of course, these are available as open source so you can get the parts yourself. Uh, and so you can do this from the first time. You don't have to undo some of this work, right? And I'm thinking maybe I'll sell this as a kit also now that I figure out so better every time that I build one of these boxes, it just gets a lot better because I figured better, easier ways to doing it. And so even this one's not perfect, but I think it's much better than the previous one that I built. Uh, and this, the 48 volt one, is by far the the hardest one because it's basically you have to have two of these battery packs in the same box and then have it connected in series right so that's what i'm doing here i'm doing the bms's uh the connection in series and then having to come out through the single one xt90 port and so if any of you guys out there have already been messing around with building with these boards uh you know you, you're kind of familiar to how these are put together or whatever and 
and so you're yeah you're just probably looking at this going like yeah i know what that is like uh and then yeah of course look you guys know that these are beefy connect connections right these are what 10 gauge i think those are 10 gauge cables so then you need a lot of heat it just takes a while to get that going there um All waiting for winter news. I don't know what. We, oh yeah, so those winter. I guess nobody won because I didn't kept track of who won. I was literally just called out names, two names, and since there's no audio, then I don't know who won. I was gonna just go back and look at who were the the other two winners that night, and so because I there's no no record of that, then I guess nobody won. I'll just I will do more giveaways coming up. Uh, the, the finally the. The winner of the the winner of the actual Delta did email me, and they're from Denmark. So I yeah, it's a legit winner. There's nothing there was nothing fishy about that. I've had email conversations, so yeah, I guess we're gonna send that. If I can send it <laughs> to uh, Denmark then it's going to Denmark and so hopefully they're gonna enjoy it and use it over there and stuff but here's the thing on today's live uh, event here I'm gonna give away this box that I built right because that wasn't part of the original giveaway and this is just a 48 volt box that just happens to work with the Delta but also it's just a, a 48 volt ammo box with uh, you know one kilowatt hour worth of batteries inside so that uh, I'll give that away today uh, again we'll just I don't I until I can figure out a better way to give these it's just gonna be completely random comment from whoever's here today so there's 150 of us here today so the odds are not that bad there we go now let's go listen back to Jehu because he might get offended if you're not listening to him Yeah, there we go. This one has a, a clump of uh, solder in there. That's why that little standoff is not staying there. So we have to kind of remove that. There we go. Got rid of a bunch. Hopefully that's, that's going to be good enough. So now I have to do is... Uh, Oh yeah, someone asked what solar panels to use for this EcoFlow uh, system, and I would use the 100 watt panels that are flexible, semi-flexible or whatever. Uh, I didn't show it, because I didn't have a way to show it in my review, but last night I tested it with this battery that, that I built here, and I connected it straight into the solar port, because it's within the voltage range, except that this can push out you know up to a thousand watts and the EcoFlow didn't the Delta didn't charge any more than 300 and like 80 watts or something so that that shows us that that is the max that that little solar uh, controller solar charge controller built in can handle it goes all the way to 65 volts my battery was just below that but it was up there it was like somewhere around 50 it was, it was fully charged uh, and it could push up any as much amps as that thing could pull, right? So that means that you any more than 400 watts, uh, you're just wasting your money because this little unit can't handle more than that, right? So if you pick, you know, like three, and then you can add three panels in a row because that goes over the 65 volts. So then, uh, yeah, really, you shouldn't buy anything bigger than like 150 watt panels because then anything else in that will be wasted well well maybe maybe i mean maybe if you get 200 watt panels maybe it'll work up to 380 or whatever it is that it maxes out and then if it's cloudy or the sun it's got too much angle maybe it'll it'll keep the 380 so the max charging rate for the longer so maybe maybe that's the only time I think that it would be worth having those bigger panels right so 
but I wouldn't go too much bigger because then you pay a bunch of money for stuff that you're not using. And also they're, they're bigger. So the, the 300 watt ones, uh, the, the 100 watt ones are very popular and they're a nice size. They're still semi portable kind of thing. Other than that, the EcoFlow comes or they, they have a, a set of uh, solar panels that comes with it and they're not too big. They're like the 80 watt ones that we I was only seeing like 50 watts uh, kind of midday sun on that so we can put this guys together to mock up the cable the cable is going to be one of these things that I haven't made yet so I have to make sure that I get it right there we go so these two more the same size Yes, I'm putting two batteries uh, together in the same box, two, two systems, right? Because my boards are 24 volts, so I'm putting two of them and then in series so that they can work at 48 volts. And yeah, as you can see here, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting the part where they're going to connect in series, and that is going to be the, uh, the BMS. And I'm doing them the BMS side by side like this because this is the best way to 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 be really uh, to occupy to what what is that the uh, be really efficient with the space. Look at that in the space of one board, right? So 25 millimeters, and you have both of the BMSs in there, and they don't touch. And you, if you use those uh, plastic standoffs in between there, then you know there's there's no connection. There's no electrical connection between the two, and it just seems to be working so far. I built a few batteries this way. So, yeah, you'll get to see how you can build a 48-volt battery using my board systems on a, on a tiny little battery. It's, uh, this ammo box is not that big. So, of course, it's only seven, seven boards per side, right? So, it will only handle, what is it? So two and a half times seven, what is that? Whatever that is, that's the amount of amps. So about a thousand, it's about a thousand, one kilowatt hour battery pack in it. So you can get continuous about a thousand watts. You can do, you know, bursts of, of more up to two kilowatt. Uh, but then after that, then the other fuses will start blowing. So that's the thing about my boards. They're very safe because they have multiple layers of fusing everywhere. So this is great for beginners because then they just blow fuses and they won't hurt themselves right but you know but then they might get uh discouraged because then the battery doesn't work as you will see here i myself blew some fuses while i was building this i don't even know how but it's a good thing Bl fuses blown is a good thing there it's kind of a hassle but there was it prevents you from you know <laughs> melting stuff and you know hurting yourself and maybe you know making your house catch fire and stuff so there we go yeah this battery uh it could work for anything it's one kilowatt hour right so it's almost the same battery that the ecoflow has inside it's just rehoused a little bit different in this diy setup you can run cpaps you can run anything with an inverter a 48 volt inverter or in this case if you're gonna do that with your own inverter, it's probably better to to set it up as a 24 volt because there's uh, much the they're smaller. There's really no small 48 volt inverters, unfortunately, and so then you'd have to do. And that's the reason why I'm keeping these boards that way, so they're versatile, so they can do 24 volts and 48 at the same time. Because then you can use them for anything. No 12 volt, unfortunately, uh, but you could use a 24 volt to 20 to 12 volt uh, DC to DC uh, they do exist they're kind of quite uh, common because so sometimes RVs have 24 volt systems and then you have to step down to 12 but then they're big and chunky and expensive so it's not ideal to try to use 24 volt equipment on a 24 volt battery right it's better if you can match your your battery to your equipment uh, either replace your battery or replace your your equipment to match so that you can use less electronics and less failure points in your system so the the simpler the systems are the better it is because then there's less things to to go wrong
So is there only 150? Is that the counters right? There we go. Yeah, 150. Let's, um. So I still, still have to make this cable, so I'm gonna mock it up. No, officially, this is a live video. This is, you're just listening to my subconscious. I'm, I'm, I'm that awesome that I can be doing two things at the same time. Talking, criticizing myself, critiquing my work, and also be building, have my head in the actual project. On the other side, So this is really useful to just to kind of show you what goes in the process of designing one of these batteries, right? These are kind of Legos. You can w use them in so many different ways. I designed this board to, to be super versatile. You can do, you can have the connections in the front, you can have the connections in the back as a, as a you know, connector with a pigtail like that or in the directly into the board, a 90 thing, or you can have those little 90 terminals with the m4 terminals right so screw terminals there's all kinds of ways so sometimes when you have too much features and too many ways of doing one thing it can be kind of confusing even for me right so i have to kind of sit there and just look at it and think about it and play with it and mock it up there's a lot of these mock-ups that happen so that's what i'm doing here uh i don't have batteries on here because i'm just trying things it's like Am I going to be able to connect this? Are these wires going to be this way? And one of the things that I really haven't liked so far is the, the wire routing. This, this ribbon connector cable thing is great when you're doing straight lines, right? From one board to the other one. But as soon as you're going to have to start like routing and 90s and stuff, then it becomes real messy. It becomes like real hard. And it's just when you stand back and look at it, you're like, man, that looks like a like a toddler did that, you know? And uh, so I, I, for some reason, I just, I can't just build a battery that looks messy in there. So I'm really trying to figure out different ways to, to route that cable and make it look like it's a, a professional thing that was designed by someone and, you know, that it was built. And I don't know, maybe by the end of this build, you, you'll be able to look back and then look at the final battery and be like, ah, oh, that looks like it's a neat, cool thing hopefully I achieve that on this one but for now I'm kind of showing you the process this is what it takes for me to build this battery and maybe the some of you guys out there are, are better than me and doing this but for me yeah, it, it took me off it's taking me all day to build this battery right so so right about there let's see what we got Oh yeah, buy my shirts. If you want to support the channel, just buy the shirts. Nobody's buying. Nobody's bought that shirt in like six months or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm the only dork walking around with my board on my shirt. It really adds a, a nice little uh, level of uh, loser <laughs> to me. But that's okay. I'm not afraid to be a loser, a dork. That's, that's just me. I've been doing it for 40 years. Also, when I look at myself back working like this, I realize that I go like one step forward, two steps back a lot of the times, you know, like I'll go and spend an extra 10 minutes trying to put an extra fastener there just so that for no reason at all, just because I'm my OCD or so, you know, you know I'll, I'll clean the table in the middle of every hole that I drilled. You're know, like, come on, can you just drill all the holes, make all the mess and then clean it after? So, so I don't, I'm not the most efficient when it comes to work and I don't notice it while I'm doing it, but now when I'm playing it back like this, you're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> like, can you just not be stupid, you know? Uh, sometimes it's useful to watch yourself like this on video. We need, we actually need these type of things here. Okay, we're just gonna mock it up. So then that one goes there, right? Oh, okay. Let's put one over here, just in case it doesn't move around. Here's the example where I spent, I don't know, two minutes putting that, that extra little pin. I'm like, why, why? Just put it out there. Mock it up like you're trying to do. You're trying. I was trying to work on the cable and the ribbon and routing the ribbon and figure other ways to make it look neat. But <laughs> somehow I'm spending time putting that extra little screw in there. Like, come on. Oh yeah, the smaller boards on the right there are, are going to be for that uh, skateboard project that I have. Uh, that is one of the projects that I'm ahead more so than behind. I just need to make the video. Well, there's a bunch of them that I have that are pending that I need to do the video. But um, yeah, those are, I have them already. I'm gonna be releasing that video soon. I kind of, I had the holders for them, but I had to use them for the other, <laughs> another product that is actually moving right now. So. So I'm, I, I'm out of that and I, I have a pending order from China to come from this, uh, for those holders. But yeah, that's, that's coming up. Man, is it gonna be worth it? Is this gonna be hard? Okay, so here what I'm doing is in order to route that ribbon to, to the next thing, again, like I said, once you start going 90 and having to bend it and fold it, it looks real messy and I just don't like it. And then just, it just doesn't look like. So now what I'm attempting to do here is to actually undo the strands so that I, so that it can be a round, just a round cable with a bunch of little strands instead of this ribbon thing. And that's, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm cutting into the, in between the little conductors, right? And so that I can split them kind of like, you know, and, and that's just in an attempt to, to make it the final product look better, look uh, like it's, you know, like it's not just thrown in there without much thought. I don't know if it's worth it to do all this stuff, but it kind of is because once there's no room in this box, right? Once you put the lid on it, that lid is right on top of those boards. And so 
it's uh, kind of an efficient I'm, I'm as, as efficient as I can be with this system that I guess could be argued is not super efficient when it comes to space right because the the major feature about this is the fact that you can bolt it together and then you know uh, just snap the cells in place where everything else you'd have to make a custom battery that are that the that the cells are like welded in place right these are not welded you can snap them in you can snap them out you can change the cells on this thing if you wanted to i don't foresee that actually being a, a big feature but if once you know these batteries and once you work with them you realize that no one's out there changing batteries <laughs> when you have a a multi you know like a large multi-cell pack like this you you build it once you forget about that you just use it after that right uh yeah, I guess you're only messing with it if you see problems and you only see problems if you did a really bad job at designing the the battery in the first place. Uh, if you did a good job, you just don't think about those batteries. You just, you just use it. You charge it, discharge it, just charge it, discharge it. And so this is mostly more for ease of, a, of initial assembly, not so much for, oh, it's good. You, you can go and change batteries when they go bad most likely you're not going to do that even though you could you totally could do this with this system you know down the line two three years down the line you're like you know what uh my battery's not working as good oh i can just buy new batteries you know because you have act by then maybe they're going to be super cheap and you'll be able to just replace them use the same system if you didn't beat it up too much Here we go, let's see. Yeah, you see that? That's the problem, that this has to be like this. Okay, yeah, so it'll be like this. Okay, let's see. I am thinking of some kind of a workshop uh, to put it in here. I didn't have the space before, but now I have this space, right? And I'm trying really hard to not just fill it <laughs> to the brim <laughs> with junk uh, and and be wise about it. And so I, I do think, I do plan some kind of a workshop here. I don't know if it's gonna be these small battery boxes. Maybe it'll be as, you know, a, a refresher or something to, just to begin with to get you guys thinking into the thing. But mo I think mostly it's gonna be for DIY electric cars. I want, I think I think that crowd would, would would be more invested because it, it would take time right and i'd have to somehow monetize it right because everything costs money and my time costs money so i think people that are going to want to learn how to make a car they they have a much bigger investment in the thing and so i could probably charge them more or enough for me to make it worth my time and and you know like you know coming up with the 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 right way to teach someone to do it. And I, I, the way I want to teach someone to do it is just to do it. So if I get some people in the room, we're going to build some batteries, you know, or we're going to build an electric car. And that's how you're going to learn. You're going to hold the thing. You're going to go back and try to solder the thing. And if you can't do it, you're going to sit right next to someone that, that can do it. And then, you know, you're, you're going to, you, yeah, you, you're going to play a part in the final build. So that's, that's my aim. Uh, when it comes to having a workshop for the longest time I didn't want to but now I'm uh, yeah I'm I I kind of like feel like it's time to to do that and I at the very least I should ex experiment with it and you know explore that and if it's a thing that it would be useful if, if it not then you know like doing these videos kind of works better for me because uh, I kind of get to work alone <laughs> <laughs> and I tend to do better <laughs> to working alone. And, uh, and a lot of people, I reach a lot of people, right? There's, you know, there's 160 of you guys here live right now. But then eventually this video is going to probably end up getting more than 10,000 views. And uh, many people are going to order these parts and then they're going to attempt to, to it's going to serve as a reference also for people, hopefully, that are watching it. And then they're going to follow along and build this one project here. And then build batteries and then you know all that stuff kind of generates a little bit of income for me which is good because i kind of need to 
make money so I can't so I'm not as broke as I've been in the past few years uh, and I, I'm helping people so that's primarily one of the things that uh, that all of my projects have to do right I, I always have a checklist you know it's like they have to do this they have to you know and one of the things one of the top ones is that they, they they have to add something valuable to the community, to the world. You know, I, I have to be fixing a problem. Um, and sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. Sometimes it's just, there's stuff that it's just like very lucrative. And I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't fit any of the other boxes, right? So so that's why I'm not doing some of the stuff. It's not like I don't know how to make money. I There are very lucrative ways that I can make money, but they don't check all the boxes. If I'm not, you know, helping in a positive way or adding something, fixing a problem, right? Then I'm not doing it. That's why, you know, like I, I wouldn't go and um, invest in stock market, right? Because I don't think those people are doing much good. I mean, they're they're helping some companies or whatever, but I don't think most of those people are doing it with that outlook i think most people are just like what can i do just to make money and i think that's the wrong look outlook on life right so um i think all these projects do that right when i'm doing them they're not <laughs> super lucrative but they fit most of those boxes so that's why I'm, I'm doing them and you know even if i struggle a little bit doesn't matter it's not all about money life's not all about money okay let's listen to what this guy's saying because i think Sometimes he says something smart, some right. smart things, but. Can I just do the thing? Let's see if we can shrink two this in there, see what it looks like. Okay, now here I'm just uh, doing the thing. I, I ended up putting a little shrink tube in there to try to keep that together. So you guys tell me what that looks like, if that looks better than if... I, I don't know, and to my view, it's, I think it looks better. It's just like a little cable that crosses from one set of boards to the other one, as opposed to just some ribbon thing that is has some weird folds that doesn't stay on uh and there i don't know what the reason is that they have it's, it's got to have like two three folds on the one side the way the ribbon needs to set that's the reason why i i haven't liked it i haven't figured out a cool way to do that uh and other than this so i think this is going to be my preferred way of of doing it for my battery boxes uh, most of these are probably going to end up being 24 volts anyway, so that, then that's not going to be such a big problem. Well, they do have to jump from one stack to the next one, so maybe. Oh, look at that. RV East Coast, thank you for the $20 donation. How I have no electronics knowledge. My wife and... I have a Delta 1300 for a travel trailer. There you go. We could use the extra battery. However, if it goes to someone else, it's all good. So here's the cool thing about this battery. I hope you win it too. I'm just going to, you know, do it randomly. Um, so you stand a chance to win here. And it's not that many of us here. It's 173. So the odds are 1 in 173 as of right now, right? Um, the cool thing about this one battery is that uh, the way that I'm going to do it here, as you will see later, uh, it will require you to like modify your Delta, but you don't have to. You could also use it as a solar charger, right? So this battery, you connect it on that port, on the port that uh, that goes on your, on your Delta, and you could charge it. The only thing is that then you'd have to figure out an external way to charge the battery. The way that I ended up doing it with the hack here, then yeah, it's it just becomes uh, an extension of the ba of the internal battery, and so you can charge it with the delta, with the delta charging either from solar or from the car or from the wall or whatever. So that's pretty cool, and the mods are not 
that difficult actually so I forgot to in include the little link for the uh, for the actual connector the connector that I ended up using was one that I had laying around and I it's not available I couldn't find it or whatever but, but there I found one another one that it's uh, equally as good uh, maybe it's gonna be harder because you always want the round connectors or the round panel mount adapter connectors because then you can just use the drill bit to make a round hole. Anything that's like square, then you have to like use a saw or something, which just kind of adds complexity to it. But what happened? Oh, you put me up there on the on the corner. By the way, that is what uh, my subconscious self looks like. <laughs> Slightly different. I'm, I'm always wearing a Puerto Rico shirt for some reason. I know. Okay. Let's crimp it right there. On this one, I'm not adding a meter, but I will have a, like I said, a version, a 24 volt version of this that will have a meter. And it's just a tiny little thing that says like percentage, you know, 10%, 50%, 100% kind of thing. I, it's the easiest one that I can find that, that works and it works for 24 volts. Um, so that's probably gonna be part of the, of the 24 volt kit the ammo box kit, right? And yeah, unless I can, that's the only thing that I can figure that can fits in there. Because like I said, it's pretty tight in there. Look, look at how much room you have on that. And then that actual lid kind of goes lower than that rim of that board. So, I mean, <laughs> space is at a premium on this battery here. And that's why it's taken me several tries to actually get it right or get it to this point, you know? So then what you do is you kind of just measure, you can do it visually, it's not that critical. But if you do get it too short, then yeah, you're not gonna have fun time trying to connect those in there. But just visually, that's where... Yeah, I'll put links to the panels that I have that I use to test it. Those worked out pretty good. They were, they were doing like a 200, 250 watts uh, on midday sun. And so that's, that's pretty good. And then I'll put those in a kit.com or kit.co uh, listing thing. And then also, what did it say? Oh, someone asked how to charge the battery, this battery. So as you will see later, you will be able to charge this battery from the Delta. So you, as the same way you charge the Delta, you this one will just charge along with it. And um, yeah, it just works like an extended battery. It's, it's pretty cool. That one was a little bit tight. Let's see this one, but nothing too bad. That form we just cut this guy. Do I need this one for anything else? Nah. I mean, maybe for, uh. It's not a lot of people. Maybe dude. for the monitor. That's a terrible sound. I don't want to hear that sound. Anyways, uh, yeah, as you can see, that is taking shape there. Look at that battery. Look at that battery box with the ribbons going on there. And I always hate to cut those ribbons 
the extra because I'm like, oh, I could use that for a meter, right? Like if I want to put a meter, like where do you connect the meter that you have power? Oh, well, the both sides of that ribbon, the farthest connections have the full power, right? The boards. So you could use it as a metering thing. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't make sense to do it there because you would want to know if the BMS is on it or not. So if the BMS turned off, you would want the meter to go off, I guess. So you might want to get the yeah your signal from after the BMS. But if you wanted to know the actual voltage of each individual battery group, right, of the seven or in this case 14 battery groups, then you would need that cable. So I always end up kind of leaving extra, so it's just like, oh, I'm gonna do, even though, you know, I don't know, Some most of the times once you finish a project like this, you just never go back and change it too much. So, yeah, it's always, I still haven't perfected this boxes using this system yet, but every time that I do another one, I get a little bit closer, I think, right? I get another idea, I'm like, oh, let me try that, oh, let me do this, let me, and then hopefully I think soon we will have something something that is good. So here we go. Here's the part where now we have to uh, you know a really easy way to do that is to have some boards. Now what you want to do with these boards is you put them like this. Right? And then you put them towards the bottom, not towards the top. I made the mistake of doing that earlier. Right, and you put them towards the, towards the sides, then you space the middle one in there. And then what you do is you just mark those, right? You mark that, you mark that, you mark that, mark, 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 mark. And then the same thing on these guys. Right, and then uh, that's where you drill your holes. You do the same thing on the other side and then drill the holes. And then when you slide those in there, then you'll be able, those are gonna align and then you put screws on them. I don't have my screw gun right here. It's in the shop, it's a new shop. So. I can't do that to show you guys, but those, that's the easy part of this build. So now let's test the to see if the BMSs work. And what you do is you start taking this apart from these edges here. Right? Do this, do that. You leave that last one in there. Take these because they were not put in there. Permanently, anyways. Just to mock it up. Oh, actually, no, you don't need to remove these. You can tighten these. Don't over tighten them because that's plastic and you can strip them out real easy. So you do the same thing on this side, you remove all this. We only want the BMSs. So once you design one of these boxes like that, then it's just easier. You don't have to do this whole thing that I'm doing here, right? Like going back and forth, taking it out, putting it again, you know, just seeing how it's gonna go, do the cable. You know, once, hopefully, once I have these kits or whatever, then you don't have to do all that thinking. You just, you know, oh, oh that's the cable. It needs to look like this. It has to have three of these little things here and then a gap of six inches and then, you know, so that's, then it becomes really easy to build these boxes. It's just the first time that you're doing it. It's uh, it's hard because you have to figure a bunch of things. You have to try a bunch of different things. 
and uh, obviously this is just a small box, but this this the same goes with the for the bigger boxes. Like I'm uh, I'm getting gearing up to do the big ones, those white ones that for the longest time I've been uh, showing pictures and stuff. Now I'm I'm ready to like do the step by step, and I'm gonna be using these M26s, the LG M26 cells, right? That I've had for a long time there. Now that right now that they're available again, uh, there's a link on the bottom of this video for you to get them from from uh, eBay. There's a seller on eBay that is selling them, so and they're really cheap right now. So get them right now while you can, because I'm buying a bunch of them too. So you're competing with me. <laughs> Eventually, those are gonna sell out. But I think there's there's plenty of them because those companies are kind of going out of business. <laughs> So of course here I'm using this little tester. I like to go and test as I build, right? Because why find out that there is a, a problem later rather than, you know, or yeah, yeah, later is a bigger problem. You're just, you have to, right now you can fix it. If there's a bad cell, oh, that don't use that cell. That lost power or it discharged itself or whatever. Or one of these boards has a, uh, you know, a trace fuse that went bad or who knows, you know what I mean? Like, and then this way also, you know that you're loading all the cells the same, the right way. It's so easy. I mean, you'd think it's like, you, it's 50-50 chance you're gonna put them right way or backwards. <laughs> but believe it or not, you always end up putting them backwards. And uh, I do it all the time. So this is one way to eliminate that by having a little meter there and you visually see that you're loading them up and it's the right voltage. And then you get to see the full voltage of that board is 29, you know, just a little bit under 29 or a little bit over 29. And if they're all landing around that same thing, you'll be able to, you know, assemble large battery packs of a hundred of these boards without much problem there's less likeliness of any of the fuses blowing because then you're not going to be trying to, you know, with differential of voltage, then that's when all the problems start happening. Uh, why not 14S? 48, it is 14S. It's going to be two of these boards that are 7S in series, so then it becomes 14S, uh, 48 volts. 69 cents per cell. Are those legit? Yeah, those are pretty legit. Those are those... LGs, uh, those were purchased in the millions. They uh, invested billions of dollars. Uh, all these, those major companies, right? Uber, uh, uh, Lyft, and Lime, and Bird. Those four companies there invested billions of dollars into these little scooters that they dropped on all the major metropolitan areas in the United States and in many other countries in the world. And uh, most, a lot of those are, are being either decommissioned now because they're, I guess they didn't, they really didn't know how they were gonna make money. It was kind of a scam. They wanted to try this out, but they really, before they could figure out how to make money on those. And so I think now those are hidden, the, the, the recycling centers, these battery packs and by the thousands, I mean, it's crazy. And so, a lot of the times those batteries didn't get much use because those scooters got beat up so much they got abused so much that they were they were wrecked and so then they weren't using the batteries i bet you some of those have like a few hundred like a hundred cycles or something and then they're still uh when you take them apart and you test the cells they they still give us like you know 90 95 percent of the original capacity so they're very good cells and at 60 cents a cell, you can't beat those. You can't beat them right now. So I don't know how many that guy that on eBay has. I don't know how many of them he has, but uh, I don't think, I think they're going fast. You know, I, I've ordered a bunch of them. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna order more this week. <laughs> so yeah, I would jump on them if you can. If you have the money, buy them. The plastic ones. Okay. 
So those are not uh, power cells. Those are just kind of like energy. They're not even energy cells. They're just kind of like middle of the road cells. But they're good enough to power like a little scooter, right? So I think they can do 10 amps without getting too hot. Uh, so they're right in, right in the middle. They're perfect, perfect for doing uh, power walls. Uh, I would like it for them to have more energy, be a little bit more energy dense. Oh, okay, so I'm going to check here. Oh, look at that. It shows 59 volts. And it shows volts, even though it shouldn't, but right? Because the BMS should be off. Volts, but I bet you that's not going to be real voltage. It can be. Okay, so here's a very important thing. Even this... Right here, I've gotten a lot of people. This shows a voltage of 52 volts in here, right? Uh, even though these this are not connected, like the, the, the BMSs don't have any feedback from the individual groups of cells because these cables are not connected. So there should be no power in here. But this shows 52 volts. Now, is that a real voltage? Well, let's test it. Here I have a, um, this is a grid tie inverter that can accept voltage, DC voltage of all the way up to 62 volts. So if this pack right here has 52 volts, then we should be able to see it right here, right? Well, look at that. It doesn't. Which, so that means that this voltage here, it's real, but it's not real, real. It's called phantom voltage. It means that it doesn't have any power behind it. It's it's just the MOSFETs that are leaking voltage. The MOSFETs are these things that are switches that are supposed to let power through. But whenever they're off, they're not 100% off. They let just a little bit of voltage through. And that's why you see 52 volts. It should be somewhere around 60 because each one of these packs was 29 point something, right? So it should be like 58 volts. Uh, instead you see 52 so if the voltage doesn't match then usually that's just leakage through the all these MOSFETs there's a bunch of MOSFETs in here you should be able to get about 50 amps at 48 volts here so but as soon as you were to plug in these right here then you should be able to have voltage let's see if it does that there we go Let's plug another one. Here we go. Uh, am I going to blow a fuse here? Because this is going to try and pull about a thousand watts. And these are not going to be able to put a thousand watts. Let's just, uh, well, let's just do it. See what happens. And if I blow all these fuses, I'm going to. No, let's not do it. Let's just disconnect this guy. I'll connect this once we have all of these batteries connected together. So there we go. So now at this point, we should have somewhere around 58 volts here, according to these things. Yeah, you see that? 57.77 volts so that's a real voltage there now because these batteries are all connected to the bmss so the bms is turned on already so that's those that can handle some uh load in here where the other ones don't as soon as you connect any load it just goes down to zero 
So, uh, before we move forward here, let's just uh, load up the batteries on this one here, and then we'll connect the whole thing, and then we'll just test it. So, we have to take this part, and of course... This so I get that question quite a lot from a lot of people. It's like, hey, these BMSs are not good because they, they're they on when they're not supposed to be on. But it's, it's like I said, it's not real voltage. It's just leakage voltage. And you know by connecting a load into it. And if it can power it, then yeah, those BMSs are on. But if they can't power it, then it's not. So that's just, you know, one of those things that your meter, your multimeter is much, it's too sensitive uh, when it comes to uh, you know, testing the switch if it's on or off. It just shows that it's on when it's not on, it's off, right? Um, so I will eventually show you how to, you know, powering that unit. Why don't I show you powering that unit? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna show you powering that unit. Uh, it's just, I didn't wanna do it just with, with two boards on each side or four boards because obviously that would exceed, you know, the the load would exceed the what those boards could do and so i was going to end up blowing some fuses for sure and so i didn't i didn't want to do that um other than that yeah let's go keep watching here i thought i, I saw another question here uh anybody else have a question for me for me well, we're doing this because I don't think I'm doing that that interesting here. I'm just building the another stack of boards, and so I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you how to you know just how to go through the motions of doing that. Pin number seven cell twenty four volt battery on a BMS ten cell BMS. Uh, I don't know. There I I hear from people that say that you can modified BMSs that are made for other like other amount of cells and you could still successfully I never done it so I don't I can't tell you for sure if it does there the problem with those is that there's so many different variants of BMSs they use different chips they use different configurations uh, that I, I couldn't say for sure right and so try it <laughs> that's my best <laughs> just make sure that it goes off when it's supposed to go off that's mostly what you have to test with the BMS's uh, it's to make sure that they go off when they're supposed to right because they're supposed to be on and if they're on but if they're not on when they're not supposed to be on then that's a bad thing because that's their only job is to turn off when a certain conditions are met like when the batteries are too low when the batteries are too high when there's too much power or load going through them or they're or the temperature's out of range. <laughs> but if it doesn't, then we have a problem. Um, what determines if the BMS is on? Is it supposed to turn off if it doesn't have the probe wires connected? Yeah, if, it, if the BMS doesn't know what the voltage of all the cells groups, then it should be off because then that means that they're, all, they're, they're zero, right? And it should, should be on. I mean, it, it's kind of like unlikely thing to happen because it needs power from the cells to, to turn on the MOSFETs. Uh, and so all the cell groups are zero, then there's not gonna be power to turn them on, right? But if any of the cells are off, then uh, the cell groups are too low, then it should be off. And so, yeah, if it doesn't have the little uh, ribbon connector on it, the BMSs shouldn't be on. The MOSFETs shouldn't be on. Um, and if they are, then there's something wrong. And I've, I've had, I've actually burned a few of these BMSs where they stay on. And so that's kind of scary because you're like, what? You, you ruin them and they stay on, permanently on? Like, how does that happen, right? And so that's not a good thing. On those boards, are all those cells in parallel? No, these are in series. This is a seven uh, series board. So each one of these boards is its own individual battery pack. It's a 7S pack, 1P. Um, and when, when you stack them next to each other, then that becomes uh, two batteries parallel together. But not just parallel at the very end. It's parallel 
all the all the seven uh, uh, cells in series are also parallel by that ribbon. Mm -hmm. So it's a 24 volt battery, and that's why you can just put two of those in series, and it becomes a 14s, and it becomes a 48 volt battery. That is the beauty about this particular uh, design: is that you can use it as 24 or 48 or higher. I've seen some people go higher, but I wouldn't recommend going much more higher than 48 volts uh, because I don't know how well those MOSFETs on the BMS will handle. I mean, without the BMS, you could do it. Then you'll just BMS the entire boards in series. You could, you could totally do that. That's one question. That's actually someone's question. Can you parallel charge batteries with one BMS? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that most e-bike packs are, you know, a bunch of... Well, parallel, they're, no, they're not, yeah. Yeah, they're a bunch of parallel, right? They're like, whatever they are, they're 13S. There's 13 cells in series, but then they have some parallel cells on there and they're being charged with the one BMS. So yeah, that's, that's how multi-cell battery packs work. Uh, you, all the parallel groups become one battery essentially, because they're electrically connected to each other, so. Uh, are the smaller boards going to be open source? Uh, they are, I guess. I just don't know. Here's the problem. It's not that I don't want to make them open source. It's just the fact that I'm using uh, people from the community to, to draw these, right? So sometimes when they don't make the files available to me, then I can't make them available to you, right? And... Sometimes a lot of people don't want the Gerber files. They want the actual project files. And I'm like, I don't know how to give you those because I don't even know what to do with those files. So yeah, all the stuff that I'm doing, in essence, it is open source, but you might have trouble getting it from me because I might not even have it. And I have no use for some of these files. So I don't, you know, you might have to go and try to get the original person who created the files and then try to see if you can get it from them. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's open source. What's the practical difference between LiPos and 18650 cells in terms of safety, nominal VCD capacity, etc.? Can LiPos be used in a power wall? Are LiPos better in any way, or are 18650s the holy grail? They're just different chemistries. There, there's really not much different except that L LiPos uh, can they have much more power density. So these are the tiny little batteries that can put out a lot of power. And you don't need that on a power wall. A power wall is different. It's a giant battery that should be supposed to last a long time, right? Uh, and so they're, they're not particularly suited well for storage applications, which is what a power wall is. It's a storage battery. You're supposed to store energy there for, to power stuff you know, later and hopefully for a long time. And so you could use lipos, and battery's a battery, right? It's just they're not the best suited ones. Uh, lipos usually don't have long cycle life because you essentially is just torturing them when you when you put them to those, you know, to for them to give you all their energy in a few minutes. You know, they can do it, but that doesn't mean they like it. So you pay the price, and you pay the price by actually killing the battery really really early and so most of these lipo batteries usually they can't get much more than like a hundred cycles that's their normal life expectancy because essentially you're just torturing them right and just the fact that they can do it and they can do it semi-safely because lipos are also kind of these things that sometimes they blow up on people um you know that's it's just they meet that requirement that used to exist on or it still exists on the RC world. That's why lipos are the best. By the way, here what I'm doing, uh, I'm adding those little pigtails there because I forgot that uh, we needed those. And that is going to be to connect the, the one stack of boards to the next stack of boards, right? Uh, I removed the one cell so that I so that it wouldn't be a live board, right? Because if you if you you know, I'm essentially soldering into the input output port of each board you don't want that to be live while you're soldering so by simply removing the one cell then you 
you make it so it's a dead board and then I just added it back on. Um, um, people are like, <laughs> it's not all pre-recorded. What you're doing on the table is pre-recorded, but the little screen is live. I think people are like, what? Oh, they're confused? <laughs> Some people, I mean, one person. My mind could be in two places at the same time, people. <laughs> I'm that powerful. I can be building the battery and I can be talking to you. That's just how it works. I'm level two. Or what that one guy <laughs> said about Elon? He was like, I'm, I'm a level two genius. <laughs> I'm an, uh, he was like, hey, Elon, you should give me a job because I'm like you. I'm a level two genius or something. <laughs> Some guy yeah. in a press conference. Yeah. I'm a level two genius. So, uh, you know. Deal with it. <laughs> did, you ever do, did you ever look into or do research on putting high capacitors on your bus when um, doing region? Then the capacitors dissipate into the batteries at a certain rate or could be used for taking off quickly? Uh, no, I never did because our batteries are very well equipped to do that. So unfortunately we don't need cabs cabs are these amazing things that no one needs i mean a very narrow portion of industry needs them but it's not us it's not us that are need batteries that are using cars i mean there's there is there are large banks of capacitors in our cars you know the the uh the comp the, con the, the controller has a bank of caps. Uh, our chargers have a bank of caps, right? But it just, it, they're tiny. They're like little, they don't need much. You know, it's like a little thing, a few caps here and there and the thing. Other than that, they suck at everything else. They suck at all the things that, you, that people mostly want to do with it. Like batteries can absorb all the energy that comes off of the region, no problem, right? It's just, you shove it in there, they charge. Batteries have a problem absorbing that energy when they're next, like very close to fully charged, right? But whenever they're somewhere in the middle, you can dump hundreds and hundreds of amps in there, right? And then they'll absorb that energy. They'll take it right back. So no, I, I never, again, I just, I don't see the need for them. So that I don't, yeah, I haven't messed with them too much because I kind of understand, I think I understand why they don't, why we don't need them, why they don't work, so. Someone said, where are all these questions coming from? <laughs> and then they're like, uh, his subconscious has his own webcam. <laughs> yes. You're right there. Yes. So you're like, you should make that little thing into a top bubble. So it's like, oh, like, like a little, him. like a little, like a little, uh, you got a new member. Fluffy Chris thing. Oh, Missile. Chris Missile. Thank you for joining the channel. By the way, guys, if you want to, uh, support the channel, there's, a multitude of ways of doing it. You can buy one of my shirts that nobody's bought in six months. <laughs> and you can look like me. Uh, or you can join the channel uh, by becoming a member. And I don't, I don't actually know what you have to do. Like you click on the button and you join. And I think you give me money. It's like five bucks or ten. I think you specify how much you want to give me or something. Um, but that is one way. To support the channel there is quite a bit of members in the channel believe it or not i want to thank all of you guys and by the way you get that special little icon next to your name is that battery icon so uh, not everybody gets that icon only a few people cool. only the cool people uh what's this guy's name oh andrew andrew bought a shirt look at that all right i mentioned above i bought a shirt 20 minutes ago what Nice. Uh, did you did you capacity test the uh, test it? Yes. You see how they all have writings on them? See right there? That one that I'm putting in right there? This is 2600, 2700. They're all like 26, 2700. Some go to 2800, I think, but those are mostly just the, the cheap chargers that we're capacity testers that we're using that are a bit optimistic on the optimistic side. But I'm basically putting that last board together uh, with those connectors. And then after that, we should be able to put the, 
that battery pack and test it. Load test that battery pack. Were you concerned about the soldering fumes? Because you're like doing this the whole time. I'm not because I don't do that often. I, I actually don't solder <laughs> very often anymore. Um, but if I were to do this and do a large amount of these boards, yes, I would actually, I have one. We had one here yesterday. I have little extractors that just have a charcoal uh, filter on it, just grabs all that nasty stuff, and then it just keeps it away from your uh, face, essentially. Um, yeah, do that. If you're, if you're building a large amount of these, just make sure you, you'll use an extractor. But you don't, you're not going to have to because pretty soon we're going to have these populated boards already. I already have them. By the way, these are the populated boards that are coming, that I'm, that I'm having made in China, right? Um, I just didn't want to say that in the video, although I guess I am saying it now in the video. Uh, because I'm not quite ready to, you know, sell them yet. They're not, they're not, I, they're building them around. The, the batch, the big batch is coming right now. And the guy told me 10 days, and now he's like, oh, sorry, it's not going to be till April. I don't know what. I'm like, okay, jerk. <laughs> it's the last time I ordered from you. But it's hard to do that because you train this guy. You're like, you get a little order. This is usually how it goes from China. You order something, and then they mess it up. But you order a tiny little batch, right? And you're like, no, this is not how it's done. You do it like this. You do it like this. You do change this, change that. And they're like, oh, okay. And then you get another second little batch, and then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's better, but you still made this. And then you, and then they finally get it done, right? And then you're now months in, <laughs> back and forth a million times. And then, and then you place a giant order, and the guy is like, okay, yeah, it's gonna be this time. And then he's late, and you're like, that's it. I'm gonna go find someone else. But you're like, oh, I can't do that, because. If I find someone else, I'm gonna have to go through months <laughs> of back and forth trying to get them to. So I'm kind of backed into the corner at this point. This guy is just gonna take however long he's gonna take uh, until I can spend a few more months trying to train someone else to do these. But anyways. What's the most powerful battery you would use in this board? Uh, okay, so the, 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 the weak, the limiting factor in these boards are those little springs, the, 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 the spring contacts, and those can handle about four or five amps. So, by design, I think, right, they did that because they're, they're going to put batteries and they know that the largest battery in 18650 form factor are about that, about 3,400 milliamp hours. So they're usually one or two Cs. So yeah, the I wouldn't do, it's a 1C system. That's why I rated it at 1C, continuous. They'll handle 2C, you know, bursts of 2C, 3C or whatever. But yeah, I, that's why also I'm putting uh, fuses of five amps on each board five amp fuse so it'll handle five amps six amps seven amps for you know short periods of time but after that then that fuse starts blowing that's just so that all these holders are not you know you don't push your battery so hard and then you come back and all you're like what's that smell you know and then you come back and you're like all your holders are melted because that would happen but it won't happen with these because i have those fuses now your batteries just turn off and you're gonna be angry because you're gonna be like, what? Stupid battery doesn't work. But in reality, what just happened is that I'd saved you from melting all your batteries. Uh, okay, what's happened here is that I realized that these boards are dead. Hey there, welcome to my channel. What? Uh, you might have seen that I what happened? This Somehow I restarted the video. Oh. Okay, so we were like over here. Yes, we were right there. Sorry, guys. I, I apparently I restarted. It. There's no video. This is live. What am I talking about? It's okay. the time continuum. Uh, <laughs> <Commander F. laughs> I'll go at it. 
The continuum time shifted. Command F. Okay, here we go. I went to lower or higher the the volume and it just this this bar, this stupid bar on the Mac. God. As soon as job died, this company just wanted to help. Terrible. Anyways, what I was saying is that at this point I'd figure out that two of these uh, boards were dead. And somehow I blew those fuses. Change that fuse. Now let's check and test to see if we have power. Oh. Voltage, 29 volts, right? So that's what it was. Here's the thing. I might have blown those fuses when I connected the ribbon on those two sides. Remember, I put that load, right? I had the, the thing and I put the ribbon on those two sides. So if I did that, that means that BMS would have turned on. And it would have been, well, but it would have been in line in series with that other BMS that was off. So it wouldn't have made a complete circuit. So no, I mean, that's that's the only thing that could possibly have been that I uh, blew those fuses. But somehow I blew those fuses, right? And so what you do is you just get extra fuses and then when you're building this stuff, you're just like, what, this blue, okay. But then see, that's the other part that I don't really like, is the fact that we're soldering these fuses in there. And that's because, oh, well, I haven't been able to figure out how to, s I wonder if the Chinese guy can do it. I'm gonna ask him. Because what if he can do that? The problem is that that little holder for these fuses is a surface mount uh, component. And these are all through hole components. And those are e easier or harder. I mean, I know that China can <laughs> solder <laughs> surface mount components. No problem. They do it all day, every day. That's what they do, right? But I got to ask my guy. That's right. I got to put it in my notes. Mental note. Mental note. <laughs> got to ask them about the surface mount. Because there is a holder that exists for these fuses. So it'd be cool to have that on the bottom and all you do is like, oh, blown fuse, pop it out, pop in the new one. And you don't need tools, you just need like little pliers. You don't need to solder, desolder. Yeah, okay. Uh, you got 210 people watching. Oh yeah. Well, it shows 198 right now, but yeah, I, I knew that it was over 200. It's still kinda low. What's going on here? Is everybody going back to work? Everybody's watching Netflix. What model is that multi-tool you're using? I don't know, but you can go to my kit.com or kit.co forward slash Jehu Garcia and or Jehu? Jehu Garcia or Jehu? I think it's like, I think it's Jehu or Jehu Garcia and uh, you'll be able to see all the tools that I'm using here. I have all the stuff listed in there. That's a good one. It's it's kind of cheap. It's not super expensive, but it's got all the features. It does uh, up to 600 amps. The clamp does up to 600 amps and AC and DC, which is kind of high. I don't know if it's very accurate, but who cares? What about the fuses on the ribbon? The fuses on the ribbon, those are trace fuses. And uh, yeah, it's from time to time, they also go off. But whenever they go off, I'm like, just get rid of the board. I usually just chuck the board. I know that's kind of wasteful, but there is a way you can fix them. I just made a video not too long ago of what it takes to fix that. You take a tiny little strand of wire, you put it in there, you solder it, and then you're good to go. Um, but yeah, usually I just don't waste my time. I usually, I'm just like, chuck it. You know, throw it in the box. What's going on here? Let's see. I think there's there might be something. No? What? Right? What? What happened? <clears throat> so we can test them. Oh no. By oh yeah, yeah, okay. These guys. So essentially here's what we're making. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what we're doing. Right. I guess I'm showing you what those batteries look like. This is what we're 
make it. Here we go. Positive, that positive. guy doesn't know what he's doing. Negative, negative. Stupid. Idiot. So, so these are two battery packs, right? And then I'm not going to plug those on there, but basically, yeah. Right, those are going to be plugged in there. These are going to be plugged over here. But it's two battery packs. This is a 24 volt battery pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven boards plus one BMS, and seven boards plus one BMS. And then those are connected in, in series. That's what we did this little thing here. And then that's this is a 20, 28 volt output cable right so so let's do uh let's do the math here if it's seven boards right and each one has 2.6 amp hours so oh 2.6 amp hours times that dude doesn't even know how to do math seven, don't listen to him so that's about 18.2 amp hours right so that means that each side here could do about 18 amps uh, 18.2 times 48 volts, the nominal. So it's about 873, uh, 873 watts, right? That's one C. You, we can do about a thousand watts, no problem here. Uh, continuous, uh, without stressing this system too much. This is a one C system, right? And it's 800 watt hours. Is it, is it 800 watt hours? Yeah, so because each one is 70 watt hours, right? Each each one of these boards, and there's 14 of them, times 14. Now it's more like 980. So it's almost like 1,000 watt hours, so one kilowatt hour here. So you should be able to pull about one kilowatt hour, or one kilowatt. Uh, so let's see here. We'll uh, put this on the amps. We're gonna. We just want to test it and see how well it would handle a thousand watts. Okay. We burn up all our little. No. So let's see. What's a thousand? Right. So a thousand watts divided by forty-eight. So it's gonna be about 20 amps, right? Uh, 20 amps divided by seven boards. Yeah, it's, uh, it's three amps each board, right? So each board is gonna see about three amps. It's within, it's got, each one of these boards has a uh, five amp fuse. So it's gonna be able to handle that load pretty good. So here we go. Oh, you hear that noise? That's this thing. So, hopefully there's not a giant spark. Okay, so 57. Oh, 22 amps. So 922 watts. Right now we're pulling off of this battery. Okay, so there we go. It's working. 22.2 uh, amps divided into seven. So about 3.17 uh, amps per board, right? Okay, so we just I just wanted to test that quickly. There we go. It works. Now let's put it into its own box. Now that we know that it works, we put it onto this box right here. Let's push this one aside. We will have to drill these holes here. And I thought I didn't have the tools to do it, but as it turns out, I do. Look at that. I do have them. So let's start with these little holes. 
All right. Okay, then I just start drilling, making a bunch of noise there. Let's just do... What are you guys talking about here? Let's see. <laughs> While that dude is drilling the holes, um, let's talk about some else. On how you're getting more than 20 amps out of a 20 amp BMS. Oh, I'm using... <laughs> I'm using six uh, 20 amp BMSs in that pack, so yeah, they're and they're pa three of them are parallel, so I'm getting I'm able to get about 60 amps off of each one of those stacks, but because well I don't need to because I'm only pulling 20 amps, 22 amps. Yeah, I'm just running a bunch of BMSs in in parallel, so yeah, watch the the build on the BMS one. You should be able to get a better understanding how that works. Do you plan on doing an e-bike build sometime in the future? I bet that could help the e-bike building people find your website. Uh, yeah, I just, these boards are not the greatest for e-bikes, but, uh, because of the whole vibration thing, right? Um, but I, yeah, maybe I'll do something else. I know we have some packs, we have those SPIM, 08s that are probably great for e-bikes so i just received a bunch of those right now i have a, a bunch of them so oh, i think i'm gonna do some builds and also i'm gonna do this also putting in sort of like in boxes like this you know because i think people need to have batteries but they need to be safe and they need to kind of be in a case like this and the problem with the other cases the 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 pelican style cases they're too expensive like something to house this much it's like 50 60 70 dollars something and you're like what you, this ammo box is literally like 20 22 dollars or something on amazon link in the description down below <laughs> so go get them <laughs> uh and so this much is much cheaper right so that i kind of like it and it's much more compact too it just it kind of worked out. I was trying to find, it took me a long time to find this one because there's a bunch of these ammo boxes that are actually used. And so they come in all kinds of different shapes and, you know, conditions. Sometimes they're all beat up. I guess it's not that bad, right? But the problem is that, again, because you guys are watching these videos, so many of you, and you're building it. I can't have something that is not reliable, that I can't, like, even like this, even when I'm, you know, linking to big companies that have, like, hopefully a lot of stock of each of the product, it still sells out. And then kind of my video, you know, it doesn't work because people, you guys are still watching the video. It still keeps getting views. And then I'm just, instead of me getting like a thanks for being helpful and giving you uh, a how-to and links where to buy the stuff, I'm like, all the stuff sold out, stuff sucks. And I get yelled at, right? So I'm trying to not do that as much. And so this one seems to be a brand new box, ammo box that is, I think it's widely available. It's at Amazon, but I think it's by several sellers I saw. And uh, hopefully it won't run out super quickly and you'll be able to order it and you'll be able to build this this box so what is the startup surge on the grid time what is the what the startup search oh on the grid time. uh it, it doesn't it did ramps up re rather really slowly so there's no there's no really search on it I mean, there there was a spark when I connected it, the DC side, because it's, I think because it's got caps, but... Chris says Harbor Fry has a real cheap ammo box. Yes, but they're always, they're plastic. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to look at them. I, I, I'm disliking them before I even play with them. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta look at them because maybe those are great. Okay. What's Alberto? What's this Alberto thing? <laughs> there's, an, there's a battle of the Albertos. Albertos are fighting it over? There's, there's been a... Oh, Alberto Flecha. Didn't... Wait a minute. Didn't he win something? Didn't you win something, Alberto? Oh, my God. I don't know if you want to say that. 
oh yeah, he's the guy that says he wants something, to the other Alberto, because there's another Alberto saying, asking, like the whole time we've been on, oh, really? he's it's been trying to get, to get you to say, like, or like, get people to say, like, they don't Has fake. Has anyone actually won and like received the thing? Is there oh. proof? Oh, is there proof? And everyone's like, whatever. Dude. I'm just a scam. And then they're like, <laughs> you're fake. And then it's like, he's a Russian, a bot. He's a Russian bot. You Russian bots. So then another Alberto came on. And he's like, I won. And I got like. Oh, there you go. See, yeah. So then they're battling it out. And that's why they're like the Alberto battle. Oh, <laughs> I see. Alberto versus Alberto. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, I've, I've sent quite a bit of stuff. I have a list right now of batteries to send out. But yeah, people get all butthurt if they don't win. And that's, remember, I used to give a lot of stuff away back in the day too. And I stopped because of this. Because there's, I'm just, just a lot of unhappy so, people too. the wrong it. audience. At some point you start like getting the wrong audience. Yeah. It's like, just those people, people that want. People are just here because they're trying to get free. Yeah, if you're just here because you're just trying to get some free you're in the wrong place. <laughs> Although, watch my videos. <laughs> Likes and thumbs up, please. <laughs> Share my video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm saying something semi-interesting here. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's just dumb stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, someone was saying, uh, this is a nice break from CNN. Oh, yeah. From Coronavirus. The, from the death count on CNN. Death toll. Oh, don't worry. Stay tuned. We will have the death toll count later on. <laughs> <laughs> we put it in the corner. We put it in the <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and the conspiracy theories. Don't worry. We'll, we'll have those. So at this point, I'm, I'm marking the other side here. The only thing that I don't know is that most people are not gonna have three extra boards. So does that mean I have to include three extra boards? I have to figure this out. Either, either I have to create a kit where I have to pre-drill it for you so you don't have to do this, or I give you the tools so that you can do it. So you can just mark them like this. I don't know. Anybody has any ideas? I could also just make like some, I mean, these, these are cheap boards. They don't cost much. And it would be great if it was one board, but it's kind of a, a kind of a, a waste to have a board just as a guide to drill these holes. Hmm. I don't know. See, that's, those are the struggles of designing things. I'm going to pop for a few minutes. Oh, should we get some food? Um, maybe. I'm going to take, take a call real quick. Like oh, okay. Conference call, and then right after that, we can do whatever. Oh, okay. All right. Wait, are you going to leave this plane? <laughs> this, is, this is going. Where are we? Let's see. 140. Man, we're... we're well, actually, no. We're three, three quarters of the way. <laughs> This is just a long build, just to build a little box. And then eventually we get into the Delta, guys. It's coming, where we, where we actually are, you know, hacking into the Delta. We're cutting it. We're drilling it. Actually, it's not. It's not that bad. But uh, yeah, we, do, we do modify it a, a tiny bit so that we can install this battery. And then I run a couple of, like, little cycles, which don't seem much. Here on the video, but best food around here. <laughs> What's that? Best food around here. Jay yeah, we should get some food. Uh, all right, just give me a mess. You can turn those boxes into little stoves. You can take the heat. Oh yeah, I've seen that. People use them for all kinds of stuff, right? I love the idea of battery ammo or ammo battery, right? Oh, paper, paper template for drilling the holes. You're right, paper template. I think of that. Yeah, that's simple. You don't need to have an actual physical thing, just something that marks it in there. Yeah, okay. 
watch it be like a weird size box, no fit. Taco Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. What's what's open around you guys? Have you guys been eating out? Is anybody eating out or everybody staying home not eating? I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. A YouTube rival of yours made... Wait, what? Made... What's up, man? One of these and used an Amazon plastic envelope. An Amazon plastic envelope in the interior? What? What do you mean? What does that mean? So they used a, a plastic ammo box. Okay. Did it, did it work? Was it cool? Uh, those PCB boards, same as yours, as being sold on AliExpress, they have a lot of versions. You just need to populate it with batteries yeah those are those are that's my design there i mean it's an open source design so it was only a matter of time before the chinese would uh would, would start and it and it's a very successful thing i have a lot of haters right because i'm kind of opinionated and sometimes my opinions don't align with everyone so i remember there was a bunch of people that are like yeah these boards are stupid no one's gonna use them you're stupid you know and i'm like whatever now, literally, I myself have uh, shipped out of here or shipped out like 30,000 of these boards. <laughs> That's not counting the, the, all the boards that you guys are ordering directly from the factory because I give you all the links so you can go and get them, right? So very, very, very popular board. And obviously, the, the people in China are like, what? What is this one like board that... It's open source and there's like literally th tens of thousands of them being made and being shipped to the United States and around the world, actually. So, yeah, it was only a matter of time before they, they would, you know, start reproducing it and making it and whatever. I don't, I don't care. You know, I mean, it's an open source board. That's what I wanted. I just wanted to make a thing that it could make it easy for people to, to make batteries, right? And um, there are... Uh, other systems out there that are I don't know maybe better I don't know I I don't I don't I haven't seen something but I'm biased because <laughs> I made this one <laughs> so you know my judgment it's always gonna not be completely unbiased right so um, yeah those are the same boards that you see on AliExpress uh, but here's the thing though I just I talked to someone yet last night I was talking to him and he was telling me that he's doing like everything. He's doing the board themselves. I'm like, oh, you're actually producing the boards. You have like a machine? Yeah, you know. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know. They're the same design as mine, but I, they might not be the same quality, right? I'm like checking to see, you know, like which vendor sells the best holders. Because by the way, I mean, there are holders and then there are holders. There are some really cheap, crappy holders, and we went through that already. We, you know, we were like, no, don't send us those holders. That brand sucks. No, don't send us from that factory. Get us some other holders. Um, then also the boards. We I haven't seen any boards that are bad, but I know that not all boards are made equally, right? So I'm ordering from a reputable company that makes, a, you know, millions of boards. So I know that they can they can do good quality work. Now this dude that is selling AliExpress, he himself is actually manufacturing the boards. Can he make good quality boards? I don't know, right? So you're kind of taking a chance there. You're right. I mean, Chinese know what they're doing, but also they they uh, they they they're known for <laughs> not always, you know, shipping quality stuff. So yeah, just be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Order a, a small batch, a sample batch, and before you go crazy and build something, right? Or cardboard template, even better. Yes. Taco Tuesday. I'm hungry. Everyone hit the like button, like Christopher Wood says. Yes. Come on, guys. Help me out here. I'm giving away a battery today. 
that battery that we're building, I'm gonna give it away today, okay? But we gotta have some likes on the stream. And by the way, where are people? Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. The, the less, less of us here, the better the odds of one of us winning this battery, right? Uh, just uh, print the drilling guide on paper. Yes, why can't I think of that? DIY projects, David Poss. Oh, the, 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 yeah, David Poss did do, no, but that wasn't a plastic one. That was one of the ones that Tom has. But Tom bought a whole like container full of uh, ammo boxes. And we were supposed to do this a long time ago, like last year, like oh, yeah, 15 months ago. And I kind of got tired of waiting on him. So that's why I just went ahead and <laughs> bought my own uh, ammo boxes and then and started doing this, right? And it's a great idea. I, this, I think, I don't know who thought about it, but whoever thought about this ammo box is genius. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, it took me a while to warm up to the idea. I'm like, eh, metal box, square, eh. and then, you know, then little by little, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, these are perfect. My boards fit right there. By the way, it took a long, I, I went through a bunch of them to find one that was available again and that it would fit the boards, my boards in a certain way because not all of them fit like that, right? There's like a million sizes. Hell no, not eating out only at home. There you go. Whoa, whoa. I can take you some tacos from Juanitas. Juanitas? I don't know what Juanitas is at. Uh, yeah, many places are closed, but there are a lot of places that are open. Like, again, like the, we were never instru instructed to... You can't just close everything, right? It's, this is not where we're at yet. I mean, even though we should, but... I work at a restaurant. It's closed. Scott free. Damn, that sucks. Uh, I'm coming in late. How much for the total kit? I don't know. I haven't worked out all those prices yet. Uh, I did a while ago on a piece of paper, but I don't have it in front of me, so I can't tell you how much it would cost out of the top of my head. But I will do that work. I'll put it in the comments or in the description. I know I don't have all the links for all these parts, but I, I will. And I probably this is, will become a kit. Because it makes sense to make it a kit, right? So I will make it a kit, and you, I'll give you the link so you can go buy all the parts yourself, or you can just order the kit from me for a little bit more money, uh, you know. Um, rice and curry, is it possible to make 12-volt high amp output hack with the Delta? Is it possible to make a 12-volt high amp output? Would be nice to power an electric trolling motor with it. Uh, I see. Um, no, I, yeah, no, I mean, you could, but it, you, yeah, you'd be spending so much money and work that you'd just be better off just making a battery like this and then just putting a DC to DC to go down to 12 volts or building a, a lithium iron phosphate. You would be, it'd be much less money and there'd be a lot less work to do it. So, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest, yeah, trying to do that with this. Oh, he didn't drill holes. He wedged it in with plastic envelope. Oh, I see what you're saying. Huh. I, I guess, I don't know. That might work. I, I don't know. I thought that they needed to be kind of secured in there I don't know that's just me I guess I need to find a lower profile screw with lo with lower profile heads because uh, it does I can only put them on one side with that with those screws currently so if I find lower profile heads then I will maybe build but on both sides so it's still not perfect I'm still working on the design there You should drop that Makita. I get a Milwaukee 12 volts. Yeah, I've never been a fan of Milwaukee, but I think maybe that's just because I never used them, and I think those are like really high end, right? They're really expensive. 
and probably because they're good. Uh, Makita, I started because I could afford it back in the day when I was in the trades. And they were the first ones that I saw that had lithium batteries. And, uh, you know, compare that to the, the walls that everybody had. I'm like, look at my thing. And it was so powerful. And little did I know that there were five 18650s in there. And that's what, you know, but I even then I was like, yeah, batteries. I wasn't super interested in batteries yet, but I do know that they made a huge impact in my life because I didn't have to carry this giant drill in my hips, right? On my tool belt or whatever. All of a sudden I can get this little Makita that was twice as powerful as the ones before that I had and with super light batteries. It was crazy. It was, it was a game changer. It was crazy. That was back in the 90s. <laughs> I I messaged those guys to give you one percent of the profit. Which ones? Which guy? Uh, this live stream is actually fun with us just having our own sub. J who conversation. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's something going on there. Let's hear. Let's hear. Then you short it out. Oh, he's talking. No, no big deal. It won't catch fire. It's just your battery not gonna work, and you're gonna be scratching your head going, "Why didn't it work?" Um. So probably, let me think about this. Which what should you connect first? Hmm. Come on. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't really matter which ones you connect first. Um, if something is wrong, you're going to be blowing up fuses no matter what. So, here we go. Just, just connected that. All of those fuses seem to be fine. You can visually see them. Right? As you're connecting them here. You, you have access, you have visual access to each one of the, uh, the, the trace fuses there. So if, 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 if there was a short or something, then you would, uh, you would see some lights there. <laughs> you see some, there we go. And no light show, which is good. There shouldn't be a light show. It's kind of going crooked, so took it out and then put it on there again. There we go. It seems like that's connected there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove this thing down there for now. Okay, and then uh, uh, we'll figure out what to do with this guy soon. So that's that one. You should be able to now connect this cable with this side. Here goes nothing. Okay, that was good. No, no sparks. That's what you want. No sparks, no crackle. No nothing, just silence. Now let's do the other side. Or power. Thing. No light show, please. Okay. So far, so good. Second one. Do I need to disconnect this one? I think I do. This one is kind of short. Bam. Again, you have access to 
the uh, bottom side and you can see the fuses that they're not blowing up as you're connecting this. There we go. So now what you do with this one, remember this, this thing right here is live, so uh, it'd probably be a good idea. Let's see, do I have any? Don't tell me I don't have it. Man, come on, I don't have any. So there we go, the, uh, the pack is taking form. Finally, we're almost there. I'm just looking for some tape to cover the ends of those, uh, those ribbons ends there so that they're not exposed or whatever. There we go. We're using tape. Electrical tape. Actually, not really. It's electrical tape. That's what it's made for. But it's usually a sign of Someone doesn't know what they're doing. So you cut a little square. <laughs> In here. No, it wasn't that bad. This is all low voltage stuff, you know? There's only at the very end it becomes 48 volts. And it's actually much closer to 50, 55 or something like that. But there, when you're messing around there, it's all, it's all 24 that volts. Way, uh, those are covered, so then they're not exposed. You just push that down there. And then, uh, yeah, you don't get to see it. Right, so then you connect these guys. Okay, here we go, nothing. All right, there we go. No sparks. Look at that. Good so far. So now we just need to put, uh, yeah, we're, I'm just gonna put some, uh, where are those, man? Where are those? So that's what I end up doing most of the day, just looking around for stuff. I'm like, oh, I have the thing there. That's what old people do, right? Apparently I'm getting old. Cause that's what happens. But look at that. That is not too bad. I can live with that, right? You, you, if you open up a box and it has that, you're like, oh, okay. Someone designed this and put some thought into it. It's not just thrown in there like with gum and look at that. And even, how is that possible? Color coordinated zip ties. I didn't, I didn't mean for that to happen. I just, it just happened. I just happened to, the, wrong, the right size were the right color to match the cells. That's crazy. It was just meant to be, I guess. Um, can you get shocked? So you can get shocked. Uh, DC, you, you kind of need like a lot of voltage above 60 volts to start feeling it. If your hands are dry, if your hands are wet, then uh, you're, you're gonna feel it much lower than that. Even at 40 volts, 30 volts or something, you like start feeling tingly. Uh, have you ever got a big shock from your battery packs? Yes, around 130 volts. Uh, and it, it didn't hurt that much. It was weird, because I've gotten shocked with AC before, AC voltage, and that hurts. You can feel every single one of the things going back and forth. Uh, but DC, is, it feels a little bit different. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do you wear, do you not wear protective glasses? Uh, when I'm working with high voltage, yes, this stuff doesn't scare me. This is like, you know, this is 48 volts. Again, my stuff is all <laughs> double and triple fuse. This system is super safe. If anything, it's kind of a wimpy battery. If, if something goes wrong, it just, you know, fuses blow and then you're like, ah, oh my God, I got to start all over again. So it's more so annoying. If you get it right, then the battery works. But if you get it wrong, it's just the little fuses go off. Okay. 
But yeah, when I'm working on my cars, you bet, you bet for sure I'm wearing gloves and face shield and all kinds of stuff. I've never, yeah, I don't mess around with that stuff. And again, maybe that was really useful for me to start with something that was dangerous, right? Because then I kind of d developed a kind of, you know, a nice, healthy, uh, what, respect for voltage, right? But then once you kind of know this, this is, this is not dangerous. As long as your hands are not wet, you do not even feel a thing. Uh, if you short something out, then you might heat feet, you know, might feel heat, for example, right? So that that could be dangerous. You could burn yourself or whatever. But as long as you're not shorting things out, then you should be good. What's happening here? I'm talking about something, but I don't know what it is. Electrons going back and forth. Now, that doesn't mean that this is not dangerous it could be dangerous oh, look, i'm could, talking about that quite a bit of power here this is could put out uh, about 50 amps right for a small amount of time it would push out 50 amps and so it could do some damage it could burn your hands right away if there was uh, something with enough resistance right uh, your hands alone don't you know, they're not as conductive enough to, to create a problem <laughs> here. So there we go. I'm just going to shove that down there like this. So at this point, uh, of course, this is like a three hour video, right? Build. So I was, I was going like A and B camera, so, but I wasn't paying attention to, I'm like, just throw in there and put some A and B shifting back and forth. That's why some of those shots doesn't, don't make sense. <laughs> They're actually the the bad the bad angle, and I'm picking those because I wasn't looking. I who can you know? I was doing this last night, kind of getting prepared for this, and I I wanted to try this live stream like this. Show a a build, but also kind of be out here to be able to see you know kind of chat with you guys and talk about it and maybe do like a voiceover. Because uh, when you're in the build, you just, you're in it, you know, and that's just, I, I'm a kind of a one, I can't multitask very well, so I'm just doing the one thing, and sometimes it's either build or it's either do a live chat, you know, or do a, a thing, an interactive thing. And I thought, well, maybe this is, this is how it would work for me to do both, right? I can do the build and then also kind of be out here talking answering questions, uh, explaining better what I'm doing, because sometimes when I'm building, I'm not explaining too much. Is there room for a gauge? Uh, just for a tiny one. Uh, and I have one. I. I I found the one that does 24 volts, but of course this being a, a, a 48 volt, I could just put it on one of the packs and it, the one that I have is basically some little lights and it basically tells you like 10 to 50 to 100%, right? And so it'll give you an indication of what the voltage is for the battery, like where, where the state of charge is at. Look at that. And it's nice and small, I just need to drill a little hole and then take the wires in and connect it and that, that will be part of the of the final kit so yeah that's interesting that's the I think we're gonna have to do uh this is the other thing that I'm having trouble figuring out how to put the external connection. There's not even room to put a connector on this thing. See how packed that thing is? There's nothing. So, uh, you know, posts, I, I did posts, binding posts on the last one that I did. But yeah, people were saying, no, well, now you can't stack them, you know? So if you wanted to stack them, you can't because now you have posts in the way. And you're like, oh yeah, you're right. 
but you know whatever you do then you it's you know it's i mean it's it's a compromise no matter what right the uh, um, gland nut to take out the power from what inside this is uh you know because you can yeah these are good they're weathered i think they're they're watertight or something so uh yeah they have a rubber thing and a rubber thing over here too so yeah th this just should work i think i'm gonna do it right here right on the center let's see if that works hopefully that works and here is the deal uh i'm gonna use just a regular pigtail right this is the female the male right so the cable inside of the box is already this female so we're just gonna put an extension there i mean it's in a perfect world this would just stick all the way out and it would hinge with the door there but because these already come like this then uh yeah we're gonna have to add an extension just to get it out of the so before we solder this together well, we have to put it through the gland nut, right? But then if we solder this here, then it won't get through this hole. So we have to drill the hole, put it through there, install it. And then the last step is to solder this. So now that we've marked where we want it, we'll drill it. Let's, let's drill this guy. Hopefully that's the right size. We'll start with the small drill. Oh my god. That's a terrible sound. Terrible sound. What time will you do the giveaway? I I'll we'll do it at the end. Sorry. I just I can't do it. I just figure I will do a full like live build. This is like literally what it took me. I mean, I kind of edited this video, but I didn't take out much, right? All I did was kind of mix the two camera angles and that's about it. So yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of what the a time, the time uh, would take, especially if you're kind of designing as you go, right? Um, and yeah, and even this, right? I could have cut this. You know, if you cut this and it just seems like nothing, but you're like, no, it took 10 minutes to drill that one hole, you know? <laughs> so. uh, I'll be back in another hour and a half, says Arvin. Did a paint job inside once, 228C, I had her to remove the sockets to paint slightly under forgot to turn the electricity I blocked out for a while when I accidentally touched the wires <laughs> yes that yeah hopefully this this kind of works out although even it was a lot of work though maybe next time we can do it better we could just record everything do this like live mixing live record it and then and then come back and then do it and then be here to do the, to handle the live chat and stuff maybe that's the way these work right again i have just some kind of experiment to see how this would work oh more drilling oh no more yeah it takes a while to drill this stuff right especially i had a I don't have the right setup like I should have like a, a a bench with the thing so that I can clamp it on there and you know all that stuff but I don't have it so yeah this is this kind of gets kind of dangerous when you're doing these big holes and then that's super tough metal man it's like double layer on top it's crazy Hey, Jehu, will this have any negative effects on the existing battery on the EcoFlow? Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I can't foresee one. Uh, it, it, anything will, will lessen the stress on it, right? So, because I'll, as I'll show you later on, 
when if you're running you know some like a 1500 watt load on on the EcoFloat, then not all of it is coming out from the battery now it's you know a portion of it is coming out it's being shared between the two new batteries so then it, it just it sees a uh, an easier life and so therefore uh your your batteries your internal battery might last longer which by the way i think that battery on the ecoflow would last quite a bit uh it turns out that they go from 4.1 fully charged i tested it you know because now by having the access to the actual to term battery terminals then i tested it and it yeah so they charge all the way at 4.1 volts and then they go down when it completely stopped working at 3.3 volts so they're very conservative with the with the battery with the cycle right so that's pretty good that means the battery is going to last a long time many many cycles because they're they're not totally killing it <laughs> have you ever built a pack for an e-bike no no e-bike builds yet maybe in the future yeah would that work for an e-bike uh i don't see why not uh i don't know how well it would do with the with the vibrations because these are spring loaded you know cell holders right so maybe with the with the vibrations it would kill them it would break the the holders i know that there were some cheap holders back in the day that would just break from having batteries uh, spring loaded in them you would come back a few months later and I'm like what why are those all cracked open or whatever so i don't know if these ones these ones seem to be much better quality and we're buying the best ones that we can find um but under uh, vibrations they might do the same thing they might just fall apart and so i don't know i haven't tested it someone test it if whoever wins this tonight maybe can put it on an e-bike and then <laughs> let me know six months down the line <laughs> if it survives <laughs> did you ever read and announce the second winner uh no there uh, so it turns out there was no winners because i basically just read two names and if if the sound is not there i don't even know i didn't write them down i was just gonna go and look back at that video and see so if there was no there's no there's no uh record of those winners and then nobody won yeah i mean the i gave away the something else that night and that's there recorded so that i can give it to them right and i by the way i'm saving up all you guys are getting back to me with your emails and your addresses and stuff and i'm we're probably going to ship those uh what's today to, yeah this week we'll get all the stuff out this week it's just we're kind of setting up here in this new office right now and figuring out all this stuff I could use that for someone that's on oxygen therapy. Yeah, that would work. Definitely. You would need a 48 volt inverter. Um, which they do exist. But probably would be better for the 24 volt. Which is going to end up being the thing. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, we can start it. We can, we can undo it, redo it. Oh, by the way, I just found out that if I, this is the last OS that will handle 32-bit apps. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, do I have any 32-bits? And the only app that I have is that uh, QuickTime 7, which I still use to do like time lapses. Yeah. yeah. So if, you, if I update, I won't be able to which, use it. Which one I have Mojave. Which is not the latest, right? No, so Catalina. I think that's where I'm on this one. Mojave. Yeah, so so that still supports 32. But that's the last. Wow. Yeah. So that's it. So I'm like, what are people using? What are you guys using to compile a bunch of pictures oh. into time lapses? Is there? I'm sure it's not. It's an easy thing to do. It's not like mind blowing. 
but it was really that easy. It was really easy, yeah. <laughs> with QuickTime 7, and it turns out I'm not going to be able to use it <laughs> if I want to update it. We'll have to find the next thing. Yeah. Uh, yes, sound cut off last time on the second and third winners. Yeah, so apparently there is no second and third winners because I don't, I don't know. We'll have to give those away. What was I giving away there? Uh, like these packs. But it's like 18650s that came out of some... Pack. Oh, but I was announcing the winner for the Delta. Okay, so yeah, by the way, the, the winner for the Delta has been confirmed now. I posted it over there in the video. I'm in contact with them via email. So that, that the Delta is going, if I can send it, which I don't, I don't know. If I can send it, it's going to Denmark. So, so there you go. But this pack here that I'm, that we're building here, by the way, yeah, oh yeah, look at this. I'm, I'm soldering those cables. These suck. The soldering these big cables, uh, yeah, that's, it tests your, uh, your, your patience. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see me struggle there for a little while here trying to do that. Have you ever built your own power station with different ports USB? Yeah, I yeah. There's there's a video that has got half a million views. Um, I have to redo that video uh, and do it better because I think I can do it better now. It's that that design wasn't as great. Time to go to Windows. Never, no Windows. Windows sucks. I mean. Max are starting to suck too, but they're still <laughs> still better. <laughs> you, I took a picture of the runner up to the Delta, so in case that doesn't work out, me sending it right or if, yeah, then I could always go to the backup. The backup is there. We'll announce that one. But it seems like the original winner is legit and fair is fair. So they're they're getting it. They're they're getting the battery. What's going on here? What is happening? Oh, he's selling it. I think he's selling it. What if you just saw it? No, I'm sure they're gonna go for a test drive or something. Yeah, they're going for a test drive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we're just we're geeky now because the windows open here in our new shop. <laughs> Yeah. Local drama. Local drama. Selling the car. Uh, you took a pick of... Yeah, so that's what they... Uh, there's a Chinese guy that builds power pads with tool batteries. Do you ever thought of trying one of those builds? What's a power pad? What is that? Oh, man, this... this uh, this thing was not scrolling up. Oh, look, we lost 20 people. Good. They're not going to win. <laughs> Just froze up. Who won? <laughs> the thief died? Really? What do you mean? Refresh. Right there. Apple. Is the root of all evil? Well, I must be evil too then because I'm enjoying it and it's let me work without learning how to do anything. Okay. It's uh, it's awesome to have a backpack that would support multiple voltages. Yeah. Hmm. What's going on here in the video now? Let's see. Oh, there we go. I'm still struggling with the thing. Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? We're in a live stream right now, but... Um, I don't know what we live. Oh, too late. You're already in it. People, that's my brother right there. No. <laughs> We're gonna six, grab something to eat or what? Keep six feet distance. Oh, yeah. Um, keep, yeah. We're gonna go get something. Keep your things. Where are you going? But you're gonna bring it, right? Yeah, because you can't go eat anywhere. 
What do we have it? I'll text you, bro. <laughs> hey, I you got my text eventually. <laughs> Next day to a Lagora. Anyway. Yeah, it's, um I'll text you. Okay. We don't know where we go. Oh, you don't know? Okay. I mean whatever. Maybe go to Thai. Maybe go to the Thai tea. Ooh, yeah. Don't be, uh, they are, they are, dude, their they're major, their major business is, uh, they think they sell more food, takeout food than. Who likes Thai food, by the way? Anybody likes Thai food? No Mexican, Taco Tuesday. Yeah, Thai would be cool. Although it's kind of messy when it's takeout. It's, you're like, all kinds yeah. of stuff, and you're like, it's a major undertaking. What's going on here? Did I just finish the battery? Battery box. Are you gonna let it finish? Yeah! But then it's gonna keep streaming. What do you mean? How much more do you have? Oh, let's see. How, what do we got? 28 minutes. <laughs> see it through or? Yeah. yeah! No, they said they're going and they're gonna bring oh, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna bring the food here and then we're gonna eat here. Red curry, there you go, yeah. Actually, I just saw someone make green curry. Oh my god, yeah, I've been watching all these uh, cooking shows, man. The chef, you seen the chef? I uh, know, you told me about it. But I haven't Dude, it. it's amazing. I don't cook for, I don't cook, I can't cook anything. I can't boil eggs. But um, I totally love watching people cook. So what's the green, what's in the green? All kinds of like vegetables and the, the curries are really like elaborate. There's all kinds of stuff in there. And you're like, man, there's a lot of work goes into like all these meals and you don't never notice it because you're just like, ah, rah, rah, rah. you just eat it, right? But I don't know. I don't know if we've ever had that, that quality of food, you know what I mean? Okay, here we go. Did I just finish the batter box? Look at that. That's one kilo one hours. Just like the food, nobody notices how much work goes Dang. into that battery box. Down. Until you get to see it in a live stream like this. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> see, you use the right tool for the right thing. Look at that. You like my hammer? <laughs> we have to get smaller uh, screws there. So then we can test to see if we have... It's quite a bit of work to make a battery. Yeah, if we have uh, voltage there. Even simple batteries like this. All right, there we go. 57. 57.7. 57 volts. Hey, why isn't my thing charging? What's going on? Okay. So there we go. This is a one kilowatt. Oh, one last thing though. Next project, what? Thing before we finish this. <laughs> it looks like a hammer. <laughs> very, very, very important. Here we go. Jack 35. <laughs> huh? There we go. This is a Jack 35. Oh, there you go. The most important thing right there. The branding. Okay. So how do you tie this battery into this guy right here? That is the question that we need to answer. How do you add this battery that we just built into this? Well, it's pretty simple. We'll have to take that apart. Maximum Let's take space. this apart here. <laughs> you do it by taking this out like this. Bam. And then a uh, screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> take the top off. Yeah, I was cramped in that room. That's why I had to get this other space. Because I'm like... I have like a million projects in there that I can't even find. 
It's like all stacked on top of each other. So now I got this big place. I hope this place doesn't look like that eventually. I'm trying really hard not to let it get that way. But anyways, here we go. We're getting to the good part. There's the... Uh, We're taking it apart and then so I connected it again I connected it through the solar charge port and it worked you could totally dump all the energy on your brand new battery and then just dump it into the Delta but then you have to figure out how to charge it right so then you would have to get an external charger which by the way they make they make a 50 what is it the 58 volt 58.7 volts, I think that's what it is. It's a 14S charger, right? And you would just have to put, you don't even have to put an extra port. You just use the same XT90 connector and plug it in there. It's, that battery is pretty safe. It's got BMSs in there. So it'll balance up when you're charging it and it'll, you know, if it gets to, the voltage goes out of range or whatever, then um, it's, it's safe, you know? So. But the problem is that I was like, no, there's got to be an e a better way. W something that doesn't require you to go and buy an extra charger. You know, can we charge? Because the Delta is a pretty decent charger. It's a 1200 watt charger. And so can we tap into it and can we make it? Oh, by the way, I kind of have to talk to this whole thing because there's no sound because I accidentally recorded in slow motion. <laughs> So then I just sped it up to normal speed, but there's no sound here. Um, yeah, so all I'm doing here is just taking it apart so that I can expose the terminals, the battery terminals. Uh, and if you saw the other video, then you kind of already saw me take this thing apart. But it's not very hard. Yeah, 58.8 says Ethan Lavun. That's 14S. You can just type that into, into uh, Amazon or eBay and stuff, and you, there's a bunch of them. Uh, so there we go. We take that cover off, right? And it's the back cover. Whoa, you have mail. <laughs> so if you use this battery with a DC to DC converter, get output of 12 volts, would the losses be too big? to make the viable or would it be better? Uh, no, I mean, you could, yeah, there would be some losses. I don't know if they would make it a, a, a deal breaker, but definitely if you're trying to power something big, it would have to be a big piece of equipment. You know, DC to DC then has to be big. It's gonna be a box about as big as this, you know? Because that's essentially what this is. It's a DC to DC that also does AC. So, okay, so then took the cover off and then what happened here? I don't know. It was like late. My brain wasn't working anymore, so I put it back on. I was talking, of course, but there's no sound. There's no sound in here. I guess I'll leave the sound on so when it, so I know when it comes off. Um, I came here mostly to see how it was going to tie into the EcoFlow, not how to build a random 48-volt battery. Well, that's what you get. That's what you got. So I hope you're happy with what you got. <laughs> uh, so you go directly into the battery to charge. Uh, well, yeah, you can do it like that. But the way that we're going to do it here is just, yeah, basically you connect it. And there's a little caveat. You have to have the this battery here is kind of smart. The way that the Delta turns the battery on, or itself on, is by turning the battery on. So the BMS turns its MOSFETs off. That's when you press that little power on and off button, that's what turns on and off, the MOSFETs on the BMS. So the terminals there, the battery terminals basically have no power when, when you turn the unit off. So if, you, if I were to tie in a secondary battery in there, then that would make the unit on, right? So it's this weird thing. So basically, 
it's got, I think they did it that way so that it would also be as service a form of a pre-charge circuit, right? So the BMS can ramp up slowly, turn on those MOSFETs, and then pre-charge the bank of capacitors on the, you know, on the unit. And so if what happens is, is the unit is off, and then you, you have, because that's what we're going to do. We're going to install an outlet that is just connected straight into the battery posts, right? This is uh, before the BMS or after the BMS? Between the battery and the BMS, right? So what happens is that if you were to plug a brand new battery in there or your external battery when the unit's off, then you would get a spark, which I actually did. Because because then you don't you basically have to pre-charge uh, bank capacitors, and so in order to get around that, what you do is you turn the unit on, which then pre-charges the bank of capacitors, and then it come those two uh, those two cables now that are that you're gonna plug into right, here we go. are electrified, so, which is actually we're gonna use. It's kind of backwards. You would think that if it's better if they're electrified than they're not electrified, but if they're not electrified, they're basically just a really harsh load because they have capacitors there. To run the wires, right? And so there's a flat spot here, which is gonna drill a hole there, put this, install that in there, and then run the wires and then run them to the battery here and then do some tests to see if that's the way to go about this. And let's get started. So here's the thing. Um, here's a drill bit. So here's the deal with that little connector. That's a panel mount or flush mount, panel mount uh, adapter for an XT30? 60, for an XT60. I couldn't find that same one. I don't even remember where I bought it, but there are other ones now available online. I will, I will again, like I will uh, find them and I will link them on the video here, uh, right? And it would just, it will slightly change, you know, the process of what what I'm doing here. I hear this one is cool because you it literally just use a a round hole, right? And then it's a little adapter. So it's super easy to make a round hole because you just use the drill bit. So if you have to make that little shape of the thing, then it's harder. And I think those are the ones that are available online right now, the ones that you'd have to make the shape. But you could do it. I mean, you just use a sharp knife and, you know, it's not gonna be as easy as this one, obviously, because you just, you just drill. And you see, I mean, you see how I'm sticking that giant uh, step drill bit in there so there's quite a bit of room in that part of that delta and so it's actually quite easy to add that let's see what else do we got going on here in the comments What would you change on the EcoFlow? Uh, I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh, let let let's hear here. I think uh, switch there. So here it is all installed. That switch, I mean the plug. So we just installed the XT60 plugged in there. Now here are the cables. I added a 35 amp fuse here, which is like 1400 watts. So there should never be that much power in there going through this cable unless there's a problem. So there's more than 35 that blows up and then, you know, just for safety. So this is the battery, right? This is the this is the, the battery and then the BMS. This is where the terminals are. So we're just gonna connect it in series, uh, in parallel with, the, with that existing battery, right? So I don't know how that's gonna work. I guess we're gonna find out now because I think this unit turns on by turning the BMS on. If the BMS starts 
uh, the MOSFETs turn on, then the unit's on. So if we do this and we connect an external battery, even if this battery's off, the unit might come on, which I don't know if it's going to create a, uh, you know, just a conflict there. But we'll, let's try it. Let's see. Hopefully we don't blow anything up. Let's try this guy. Here we go. So I disconnected this. Yeah, so that's why there's no spark. It's because it uh, the battery's turned off, so there's no power here. Right now that the unit is off. That's pretty smart. It's a smart way of doing it. So here we go. There we go. That should be pretty good. So that's the positive. Now let's do the negative side. And this is the same thing. Yeah, this this unit might not have a uh, warranty because this is like a this is a review unit. So <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy it, so it probably don't have rights to some kind of warranty anyway. So as long as I don't kill it, I think it should be fine. It's an experiments unit. There we go. We just push this guy over there. Um. I think I'm gonna put a uh, let's put a purple. Yeah, if if the batteries are too uh, far apart from each other, uh, the voltage, well, it's not a good idea, right? But it will start transferring, you know, from one to the other. So whatever, whichever one is higher state of charge will start charging the other one. And as long as it doesn't go above the, you know, 35 amps or whatever, it should, should be fine. Because both of these batteries can handle quite a bit of that level of power, right? Each one of these batteries can deliver, well, the internal one can deliver you know, almost 2,000 watts, right? Continues, uh, where the the external one can can deliver about a, a thousand watts continuous, uh, and to about 2,000 watt, you know, for short amount of time. So yeah, it'll just it'll, they'll fight each other, but then eventually, you know, whichever one has more power or higher voltage will eventually. Maybe he did sell it. Nothing gets burned. Nothing gets triggered. He came back without a car. That it likes it. Okay, so. So, let's see here. I want to do a test to see if we have power 10 minutes right I'm gonna we're almost there there should be no power there right now and if we turn the unit on okay so yeah ecoflow should no totally power. add an expansion port it's not that hard right there's 52 volts there I would I would like to have a more safety, like a relay on it that it would only turn on. And the power turned off. There's seven volts right now. In there, seven volts. So I think if we connect our battery there, there might be an inrush. Battery has. 
Okay. How power does it have room out? Let's see. One for the original build, one for the light to me, and now for the computer. Yes. What's the name? I mean, what kind of Tom voltage? Shit. <laughs> what I do for the views? 55 volts. DRP says, glad I'm seeing you today. The last few times I only cut the last few minutes. Let's hope that it doesn't die. Is people just connected? Yeah. So here's where I made the mistake of connecting it when the unit was off. And see, it made a little spark. And you don't want sparks. Because uh, DC sparks just melt any, everything, right? So. But then all I did, so then what happened was the unit turned on. See? The unit's on. Alright, so it's just. It, so now it's on. Let's see here. It woke it up. But as you see, now the, the batteries are not so far from each other that when I hook them up, there's absolutely like no spark, no nothing. As long as, you know. Yeah, oh. that's what we'll have to do. Huh. So that's how that works. I'm going to have to make a, a longer cable to connect it. But there we go. So let's do the test. Let's put this back together. So you could connect this battery in the other in the other uh, XT60 plug on this battery, and it, it wouldn't hurt it at all. Uh, it'll just actually start charging it from that port also. Yeah, we don't need to see. All right, let's put these sides in here. Let's entertain three hours of this quarantine. <laughs> There we go. Plug in the battery already. I should probably go bring it and I'll show it. And let's put the top here now. Let's put the top back on. Here we go. What's going on? Did you finish it? Oh, Jesus. Come on. What's the difference in the voltage? Uh, it was like, like 3 volts or something. Okay. At that point, it was like 3 volts. And then, uh, yeah. Then later on, I, I plugged it back in and I noticed that there was about 5 amps of energy transfer from one battery to the other one. So. But it's totally fine. Five amps is nothing. It's like 300 watts. So three. these batteries are totally okay transferring either one of these from one to the other one. 300. I mean, they can do up to a, a thousand watts with then no this sweat. This guy goes back on. It'd be nice to have a power switch on your home unit. Yeah. It would be, but it, it would, it's, it's much harder than to do it than just than just doing it because if you need to have like a relay, you know. I don't know, I have to find the right one. Yeah. So the other port will charge it but won't use it as a part of the bank? Yeah. For other loads? It won't charge it. Oh. So it's only, so the other port will only g flow from the, the external battery into the internal battery but not the other way around. So the new port will, right? So once you deplete both of the, those batteries, then you just charge your, your EcoFlow and it'll charge the external battery also. So that's, that's the main difference and that's the reason why you would go through the work of adding a port straight to the battery's terminals. And also, 
uh, it would keep it. Yeah, it also it just adds it. Yes, yeah, so you you will see right now on the test that I did. Uh, it adds it as the battery. It doesn't. The BMS doesn't know how big the battery is. It just knows it measures how much energy is going in and out. And then it uses that information to try to. So it, it tries to predict how long the unit will run. So what's going on? The damage power parallel does echo flow calculate the longer run times No. So it didn't, it kept saying that the, the unit, the unit would last uh, one hour, but it lasted way more than an hour with the, uh... so there we go. Here's the test. Okay. So currently I am charging the unit, right? It has 70% uh, state of charge and I'm charging it via the, uh, the wall. And so that means that my battery here should be being charged too. And it's showing about one amp. It was showing more like three amps, but... So the reason for this is the fact that that battery was charging the EcoFlow already. So when it started charging it, it, it went down and it almost showed no transfer of energy, right? So it was a little bit... It was hard to understand that at the time. Uh, to 100% and then we'll discharge it and see if we can get more than one kilowatt hour off of this because it, it, the BMS might be smart enough to not let that happen. It might say, hey, I know I have this amount of battery, but there's more. There's a problem because there's more. Hopefully not. All right, so here's the real test. This is 100% charged. I'm discharging it at a rate of 1,000 watts or 932 watts. Uh, it's supposed to only last about an hour because this, remember, as our test showed, only has one kilowatt hour. So right now it's got the external battery, right? So it should have around two kilowatt hours. So let's see how much energy we can actually remove from it. If it goes over one kilowatt hour, then we won. And it should be somewhere around almost two. So here goes nothing. Okay, update on this guy. Look at that. We successfully have removed 1.5 kilowatt hours off of this system here. So this external battery is working. And um, it's at 47 volts, so we'll have to do the math there to see how far it is. But half a kilowatt hour, 567 watt hours have come from this battery right here. So, and it's at nine amps. So it's removing nine, almost 10 amps from this battery. Um, yeah, this uh, meter here Give them the money. is showing 1%. I don't know I how it's calculating the 1% yeah. and that it's got one minute left, but I think it's going to be there for a while. I don't think uh, 47 volts. What is that? There we go. That is the final uh draw of uh power there. So we were successful in adding more battery. Now it's it's not as much as it would have been literally this box that that i that we built is it's one kilowatt hour right or very close to one kilowatt hour but the only re the reason why we only get to see 700 watt hours is because uh like i said it's because of the very conservative use of ecoflow's battery right so it only goes down to 3.3 volts where these batteries can hold energy right like 300 or about 30% of that energy is below the 3.3, from 2.5 to 3.3 or whatever. So that's a good thing because 
obviously you don't want to uh, damage your battery uh, but yeah you could just daisy chain more of those batteries I mean you can make a couple of these and daisy chain them and then you can just keep using it and your EcoFlow will just take the energy and use it it just it just will keep telling you oh it's got like even at the end it says like oh it's got one minute one minute you know and it was like one minute for ten minutes <laughs> it was like it thought it was ready to go so it does have some preset or you know preset uh, parameters as to what it thinks the the battery is gonna do because it just thinks that it's only has the inside right but of course we're changing that by adding the external battery but yeah, I mean, I this is pretty. I think it's pretty useful. You, this is a, a nice, easy hack. Yeah, sure, it took three hours, but remember, this is actual hours. Like, I didn't speed up any of these footage. I didn't delete any of it. That's really what it took me yesterday. It took me maybe more because I was, you know, eating lunch in between there. I took a break, and then the dogs, and then the, the one, all that stuff, right? But that out of actual work time it took three hours to build this battery and then to to modify the delta and then uh to install it so now that i built it now that i know it works let's give it away i don't i don't need this battery one of you guys need it so you'll just have to figure out how to use a 48 volt battery uh if you have a delta you can do that to it right and actually there was some someone that was watching today that has that has the delta so you could totally just modify your delta do they have different models or is it the only, only so the the this one's the biggest i think the delta 1300 is the biggest their biggest model um i think there is one smaller one i wonder which one they have and if it'll react differently to it no i think they said they have the 1300 oh okay yeah yeah the other one is like probably about half the size Mm -hmm. and capacity out so anyway so how do we do the thing these are like chat comments That's... these are chat and they don't go all the way back so no. i think the only thing we can do is uh pick from from these ones it's like whoever's commented in the last okay so whoever's com here's the thing if you've been watching this whole thing and you commented like a long time ago, comment right now you know because then you're gonna be added to the thing to the list because this only goes up so far and i don't know how far but even then they come in now and then what are you gonna do i'm just gonna pick a random oh comment. you're just gonna randomly pick one yeah. yeah randomly pick one right because this is a live chat it's, so it's not uh yeah there's no comments being posted in this video yet so it's, that's how i've been doing them okay and i don't know some people might think that's not fair or whatever but hey whatever this is my it's my show my rules <laughs> I get to give it to whoever I want, okay? So, yeah, I'll well, just... Comment at me right now. <laughs> yeah, comment. Go for it. If you haven't if you haven't commented in a while, you comment right now because then then that's going to be... <laughs> Look at this chat. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. 48-volt battery coming up. I'm just going to pick a random one. Here we go. Somewhere from the middle. How about someone from the middle? All right, here we go. Tommy K. Bingo. There we go. He wants. He wants the battery. Tommy K. Oh, that's cool. He's the guy that gets it. <laughs> really? Remember I told you? The, the comment that I told you that, like... Oh, no way. That guy gets it, man. He's like... Tommy K. You want it, man. I'll trade for tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo did it. Oh my god, these comments are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So it's an ammo thing. See you next year at Montana Speedway. This guy goes to. Oh, really? Look, so it's. Uh, yeah, this. So this is. Oh, yeah, you can put it in the main screen. Now you're in the main screen. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me order my drink. Uh, boba? Thai, thai tea boba? Sure, why not? I don't need anything. You're crazy.
or water actually. Thai tea boba. Anyways, look, this is so crazy because this is like, this is new wave, right? This is a nice battery, so it appeals to like the, you know, the, 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 the fancy people. But it also appeals to the conservative people because it's in an ammo box. So it's, you know, conservative meets liberal <laughs> hippie uh, people in the same thing. How crazy is that? I'm marrying those two people that usually don't get along. But here we go. We both want batteries. By the way, it's kind of heavy. How much does it weigh? But it, it feels, I mean, you know, I'm a wimp, but um, it feels kind of like heavy. As it should be. It's one kilowatt hours worth of battery. <laughs> Cup of water. I did the plank. So anyways, there we go. That's a battery. I will make this into a kit. I will try and go and put all the links, all the stuff that I'm missing for anyone out there that wouldn't want to do this with their little EcoFlow. Uh, and then stay tuned. I have another unit that is bigger than the EcoFlow, bigger battery, 1.2, 1.5 kilowatt hours. Uh, other than that, I don't know any specs. I haven't looked at it yet. And I'm going to do the review on that one also. Uh, do I want to do like a, yeah, why not? Do a crazy review like this. Do it through, put it through spaces, take it apart, do the thing. Try to make it better, right? Because that's my thing. If you're not making it better, if you're not fixing a problem, then what are you doing? You're not doing anything, right? So, anyways. There we go. Uh, and yeah, and then that, that's, that battery is going to become a, uh, a product eventually in our, in our cart. And it's probably going to be the 24 volt. I mean, I don't know. I already built the 48, so maybe I'll offer it on 48 volt too. But, you know, also to make it a 48, you just get two 24 volts and then you, you uh, just put them in series outside. And then you're, you're, you have that also, right? So again, it's, it's super versatile, these little kits that I'm making. And especially now that they're going to start coming to, you know, without you having to do all the work, the soldering and stuff. It's just you bolting them together. The Blue Eddy, there we go. Yes, that's the one that I'm, uh, I'm reviewing next. Blue Eddy, uh, if I get to it and review it sooner rather than later, then I can actually compare it. We can put it side by side with this guy, you know, not just for size, weight, but also maybe, you know, some performance. We can try and see if it'll power a certain thing. I don't know, I'll think about something. Uh, there we go. Name he goes, he goes, iPhone dies. And he goes, better get more ammo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, do they make, you could, okay, so whoever is getting this, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, is it, is it Tom Iron Man? It's not Tom Iron Man. Tommy right? K. Oh, Tommy K. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to use this one just the way it is, you could get those little USB things that work on 24 volts, and you just don't plug it in here. Go inside the box, and then plug it into one of the sides. Then, if, then, but then you're gonna have a a battery that's misbalanced, unbalanced. Yeah, how do we fix that? Hmm. Hmm, I have to think about that. There is a way to do it though. So anyways, look at this. This is the final product. It's pretty nice, if you ask me. It's clean. It's clean, clean design. How do you like the new office so far? Well, I don't, because I haven't been here yet, so I don't know. It's, it's a bit empty, and it's a bit messy. We'll figure it out. No, this place will be nice eventually. Well, it'll, it'll be where, like, we can come in here and just work and stuff, and not have to think about it too much. <laughs> iMovie, yes, that was way back in the day. So it's kind of tight fit. Bam! Okay, anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go get some... Well, actually, we're going to get some food, but... Um, How heavy is it? Oh, you, you, you didn't roll. I don't know. I don't have a thing. Oh, actually, I do have a scale back there. I have a scale back there, but we'll, we'll do the thing. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, we'll do some more live. Oh, so Tommy, send an email, right? Yeah, Tommy, send me an email. jhojack35. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Send me an email. Actually, Tommy, is he not here? Oh, he, there he is. He just, yeah. We just said the email address. There we go. Yeah. Tommy's in the live chat. Look at that. Half the time is like the people who I choose, they're not here. You never hear from. A week later, they're like, oh. But here we go. Tommy's here. Jay who had Jack 35, send me an email, send me your address, we'll send it to you. Bam! Then we'll do the next giveaway next week, all right? Or next, I don't know, whenever, whenever. All right, guys, thank you for joining us live. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Build stuff while you guys are. Take advantage of the time. Yeah, hibernating of the coronavirus. I will try to do the same. I will try to keep building stuff. And then, uh, yeah. Take us with you for some food. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing what you do, too. Yeah. We like this combination of video and live. There you go. I I would say... That is pretty good. Because you get to talk to... You can see the feed a little bit more. Than yeah, than being there. The it's just weird. No one's doing these things. Like, people are doing these live things, but they're just talking. There's a bunch of talking heads. It's the thing I don't like about these other YouTubers. They're full of uh, opinions, but they're like based on nothing. Oh, based on reading some book or whatever, you know? And I'm like, how about you guys build something? <laughs> you know? Uh, and no one's doing this. No one's building something live. Mm -hmm. Who's building? And especially it's technical stuff. No one's doing something. This is hard. I mean, it took three hours to do this one battery. And, you know, and this is like the easy projects. Now imagine doing a thing. Yeah. That's a really cool concept, I think. Mm hmm To just kind of record it live. Record it live. Show it, and then... Because there's something about that. There's something about... The thing is that, like, all these questions come up while you're doing it. Yeah, and I'm and not... people too... are like, okay, what about this thing right there, right now that you're doing the thing? Yeah. That's the time to address it. Later, it's like, yeah. uh, who knows? It was like... 20 minutes into the middle. Like, yeah. So the, here's the thing with the live chats. Usually I don't leave them up because they're not. I don't think they're consumable. They're consumable at the time being when they're live. But later on, they're not so much. So I'm like, I'm just clogging up my, my channel with all these videos that are not getting views. I'm trying to leave this one up and see how well it see does. How it does yeah. If it does well, then we I kind of you know maybe we'll start cracking up the cracking the cranking these kinds of or or cracking the no the cranking or cracking cracking the combination no the combination the whatever <laughs> cracking the thing figuring out the you know what? the combination the format yeah whatever the algorithm I don't know we'll figure it out. Because I do need to get views. My, my channel's views are going down, and uh, that's not a good thing. But, you know, then again, I wasn't making any videos that were compelling. But now, hopefully, this is all going to change right now. I'm going to do some good videos. Okay, let's call quick. Build it, they will watch it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you have the feed in your computer. You have the thing, so end it. Oh, you don't have a thing. Okay, usually I just put some videos or whatever, but you oh, don't do you? have that. Let's see, uh, does it have a post? Let's does it have a post? Okay, so we're not using our regular, we'll have to, okay. We'll see you guys in the next one. This live stream is just gonna end abruptly. Bye. Yeah, I don't have that built in. We gotta build some stuff. Cracking hands. <laughs> <laughs> They're still, oh, cause you gotta understand this is, they're barely getting this. Yeah, yeah, their things are behind. Come on, did it end it? End it. Oh, dude, it's, I don't know. I think it's not ending it. <laughs> it doesn't want to end. Wait, you think you're still? I mean, it, it's just going the little, just give it a second. I think it took a while yesterday too. This was a really long one too, right? Was it four hours, three hours? How long have we been? Oh, it says on there, right? Like three hours ago. Three hours, yeah. So it's a three hours. I'm still on. I mean, it, it's just going. Yeah, I'm still on.
I can stop it here, and then it'll be blank, but that'll be just black. It'll be just black. So one of these days, we'll figure out how to end it. Huh. It's so weird. Like, I reloaded this page, and it's just not... How many iPhone charges do you get? <laughs> oh, it's... That's quite a bit. One kill one hour. It's just not... It's frozen or something. Where did you click? Well, end, right? And then I wasn't doing anything, so then I just reloaded it. Are you sure you want to end so your stream? Yes, yeah, end, end it. it. Okay. That, oh. So you already did this? Yeah, but it, this is this is what it's doing. I think because this this page was like not reloaded in such a long time that that's why I was trying to reload it. Hmm. Yeah, it's like frozen. So you might have to just load up my YouTube. Yeah. I don't know that I get the same page though. That's like a. No, yeah, 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 there's a way. It's not easy to find it, but am I even connected to the internet? Oh, yeah, I see it. And it's good. 